If you listen to Bona Boy, sometimes, whenever Bona Boy is being superfluous, you can tell, bro, I told them, great album, not great album, good album, actually pretty decent. But like, sometimes you're like, nobody asked you this nigga. <laughs> I'm not lying. Who asked you to make thank you? Fair enough. <laughs> during lockdown, he mocked Nigerians. Oh, during lockdown? Yeah. yeah. Then it was mocking Nigerians that, oh, you guys are not ready yet. When you're ready, you get out and you protest. Oh, really? Yeah. A lot of regular Nigerians decide not to vote. You shouldn't shame them into voting. Part of your brand is based on socio-political conversations. The fuel for your piloting into international markets was on some new fella shit. Can we agree that he is easily one of the most dragged Nigerian celebrities? Bro, they will not be going through it every other day. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Pop Central. Amazing, amazing podcast. Should I call it Pop Central? But yeah, it is called the Zero Conditions Podcast. And in my opinion, it is the best podcast, period. <laughs> best. <laughs> sorry, best. Oh, oh, oh. Is the. Is sorry. <clears throat> It's the best podcast, period, in the world, in Nigeria, everywhere. And, you know, we, we just, we've just been out here doing what we like to do. Why are you going to buy me the sh- Why, no, buy Let me, me the be done with the introduction. Why can't this boy ever let me finish the introduction? Sorry. And we are live on DSTV at Channel 189. You can catch us on Pop Central TV. And we are live on your favorite streaming platforms every Monday. What time, Tolan? Is it 6 a.m.? 7 a.m.? 8 a.m.? 9 a.m.? I'm going a. to let you finish. The moment you, the moment you wake up, Sha. The podcast has already dropped, period. Shout out to Jewel. Shout out to Jewel. And we're also on YouTube. Search for us at Zero Conditions and you'll find us there. Follow us on social media too at Zero Conditions and you'll find us there. Today on the podcast, we had to run it twice. You know that stuff that they say that it is so good you had to do it twice. I mean, my punchline is dope. It's like rapper I mean, it used to be a Nigerian OAP. <laughs> So when you did it last week, I think they gained. Can you please let these people be? Like, can you people let them be? Come on. Some, on the salary wa. Some, some of my friends are that OAP. They messaged you? Oh, yeah. Ah, you deserve it. I've been getting some very You deserve it. Messages. You deserve it. Dennis is back in the building. Laolu is back in the building. Lolu? Uh-uh. <laughs> what do I call you Laolu? <laughs> Whatever, I call you Laolu Mama, last week. why do you have the name? Your actual Laulu. name sounds like the name of a legendary producer. The aliens are the name like of a legendary producer. Dennis and Lolo are back in the building. Yay! I don't know how Tony got them back again, but. Oh, shout out to my niggas. They pulled up for us. Every time. Mm-hmm. I don't know how they protest. did it. <laughs> eh? but okay. How was your week? We're jumping straight into it. <laughs> no, we're, not, we're not doing that. So. Well, why not? Oh, we're yeah. can. We can. Okay. How was your week? It was very interesting. Okay. Uneventful, but it's interesting. I like uneventful I, weeks. I mean, I needed it <laughs> just to <laughs> chill. <laughs> Sounds like a tired corporate body. I love uneventful. I love slow days and uneventful weeks. I'm like, Jesus. Were you in Ghana this week? No, I wasn't. Okay. I'm like, a lot to share. Yeah. But I worked, sir. Just so that my employers can know that. <laughs> so they don't think you were just in the house, right? I, I worked. I was but, but you work. went to the office late. I I was working. <laughs> From home. I worked. From home. How about you, Dennis? I worked. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, there's evidence now. Like, we need to open our Evidence. Website. Evidence actually, what? that's true. That's true, actually. There's evidence. Plenty of evidence. So, I, I worked. How many stories do you do in a week now, Dennis? Um... Let me say six to seven. In a week? Yeah, yeah. You didn't left the trenches, though. <laughs> but you write it? six to seven stories nah, so, every week. So, I... Is that too much? It's not I'm too much. I'm trying to even ask... So, it depends on the scope of... Is that anything. too much? I'm not a writer, so... So, it depends on the scope of the thing, because, like, a lot of it has to do with reporting. Yeah. So, like, you're mainly researching, reaching out to people, getting quotes and Curation. stuff. So, it, that's what it is. So, is if I say in a week, maybe max, if I'm actually writing something now... An idea maybe once a week the rest is just reporting or oh, something happened over here they send me a link can i reach out to this person and get a quote and that's 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 mostly let me say 75 percent of it many 25 percent is like original mm-hmm. stuff so not original but like stuff that happened that you want to take yeah. forward that you want to expand into like full length stories so yeah do you write like explainers and opinion pieces yeah 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 quite quite a bit quite so a bit, did yeah. you cover the protest yeah, yeah, I did. Did um, you go physically? No, I did not go. I did not yes. go. But I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm gonna go tomorrow. What do you guys think about? What do you guys think about the project protest? By the way, what do you think about the protest? I 
100% understand the need or why people feel the need to protest. Like, we can, we all live in Nigeria. Things are unreasonably difficult. Things are expensive. Cost of living is ridiculous. So I understand people wanting to protest and going out to protest. And I also understand as someone who has, you know, participated in protests in Nigeria. Be attentive, oh. I'm a bow. I also understand why some people are hesitant towards going out because of the last outcome of the last um, protest, that's the end size. But regardless, it's, it's, it's a needed conversation. It's a very needed conversation. I needed action. I don't think the protest is... I think because of how the last protest went, the tail end of the last protest, not the entire thing. Of course, the tail end. Um... I don't think the protest uh, has lived up to its billing yet. This it's one. only been two days, yeah. Yeah, of course. Um, because I think for the last one, the last very highly publicized protest that we had, I think it was, I think it was, I think it was, um, from the first day, it was very hot. From the very first day. No, hold it, bro. Thank you. From the very first day, I think it was it was a very hot protest. Like it was there was, no, there was no dull moment yeah. from the pod. I mean, from the po- uh, protest. Mm-hmm. But now it feels like there's a, there's an apprehension in the in the air. Of for course, people. obviously. Um, and I zero it down to the kind of government we have in Nigeria. What I'm trying not to go too hard as much as possible. I'm, I'm trying not to go as hard as possible. But can you give him to also mix? Like, can you pour some mixer for me? No, and your glass is going to be white, so you need some shivers. Yeah, I'm going to do that. That's what I'm saying. Huh? Pour the shivers by yourself. No, like, you let know, me just get the mixer first. I'll do the shivers when you bring it no, back. No, no, no. Pour the shivers first. Why? Because it's very important okay. that you use your own hand to do yourself. <laughs> no, no, you not use your hand to do yourself in Jesus' name. But you know what I mean. I know what you mean. Because this one pours drink for you now. You and you go and drink. You can't pour drink for me, not you. Sorry. I know. <laughs> okay. I'm not trying to. I know what? So, drunk card now. Fuck you, bro. <laughs> So, yes. I feel like Nigeria is... People are scared. Yeah. Of course. People are petrified, actually. Not even scared. Yeah. People are de- genuinely petrified. Like, what's going to happen? Like, what's going to happen? Because, let's be honest, at 20th of October 2020, a lot of people got the word about what was going to happen from the, like, from the earlier in the day. They knew that was going to happen. Word circulated that it was going to happen. Mm-hmm. Right? So now... You already see, allegedly, you already see counter protests to the protests. It's not allegedly, we're seeing the counter protests. Say no to protests. It's not there on social media. Everybody's doing counter. I don't know. Because yes. I don't want them to shut down this pod <laughs> or this TV station. Our links. <laughs> like people that have enough power to shut down Bitcoin links. <laughs> Shout out to Femco. Shout out to Femco. The things that they saw. I mean, what bono? <laughs> Their spirits were hot. Enjoy it, Sochi. Grew that of their ancestors. You understand? Mm. So I don't think, I don't think that is something that a lot of people wanted to, to risk or people want to risk. And I feel quite, I feel for us as a people. Yep. I genuinely think it's only been one year, right? It's only been one year of this government, and I. I feel like this is the worst one year tenure that I've seen in my whole life. <laughs> For you? <laughs> so this is the worst. What do you think, Dennis, about the protest? But no, can I just round up? Yeah, sorry, okay, so you're not done. Sorry, I thought you were done. Like the, f- the je- je- I think, the, but I also feel I feel some of it is the scourge or the re- the residue of the failures of the past government. Everybody keeps saying No, it that. is, because it I is. Beg. No, no, it is. Melody, it's... No, no, it is. It is because it's not even just about, like, things that... It's not speculation. Inflation doesn't start in a day. Of course. Inflation is the result. It's Accumulated. basic Keynesian economics. Yes. You don't have a Federal Reserve to battle certain things. Inflation is going to fucking kill you. It's simple. Yeah. Yep. That's what it is. Yep. Right? Everybody should go and read Keynesian economics to understand what that is, right? So I feel it's not a lot of the things. Like for example, how many people, how many organizations are going to borrow a company like this money when 
corporations are getting out every other week. Yep. People are like, shutting even if down their you business. You don't business. have money. Who is going to lend you the money? Yep. Is this borrow or lend now? I forgot to. Then it's help us here. Help us. <laughs> I think it's borrow now. It's borrow. Okay. Yeah, it's borrow. Who's going to borrow us the money? Do you understand? Like, and even if they borrow us the money, if, man, the fact that the people feel like they might not get their money back, back. they are also scared that the money will be embezzled. Mm-hmm. Two layers. So I feel like, as much as yes, there's a problem, there's a residue from the past economy, um, the past administration. This administration itself is has a hand in putting that administration in place. One, it's Two. a continuation. Like okay. maybe not a continuation, bro. Please, but I hear you on that. <laughs> so I feel like we're in problems, sir. Dennis, the floor is yours. Oh, um, <laughs> I, I agree with a lot of things you said because. The problem with Nigeria right now, obviously, like it's not from this the past one year, but yep. honestly, like anybody that knows that has the common sense knows that anybody that is coming into that situation last year knows that austerity measures straight. Yep. You you know that you are coming into all of these things. So you have to start like measures. Fine, everybody all the candidates said they were going to take our subsidy. Yep. But what was what was your what was like what was your what was your follow up plan? plan? What was the plan? Like that's the statement. What's the plan? You just said subsidy is over. Like so what is the like what is the plan? Because right now, as Nigerians, the only way we can move forward, fuel price has gone up automatically. You have to you have to find ways to improve to the economic the power of Nigerians. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so imagine that you have you have increased fuel which affects everything. And somebody that is any maybe one fifty k has increased to two hundred thousand. It's still you are still fighting Bad. against the same thing. Still so it's, that's the problem. And it's not just. And I said it then. I said when NLC was fighting for minimum wage. I said if it's if it's, if it's me, we're fighting two things. Not one. I'm fighting for minimum wage increase. And we're fighting for people over there to to decrease their money. People over where? Your leaders now that are, that are collecting oh, millions I mean, of naira yeah. and we don't even know how much exactly the end. Yeah. yeah. So like that's why I, I said it, like they were just because throughout that, during that whole strike I was like I, I don't care like you would just turn off my lights for no reason because no to me reason. to me they were not going to give you two hundred something thousand that you're asking for yeah because apart from the fact that federal government cannot pay it or will not pay it private companies can't, can't pay that amount of money you know I mean you know how much two hundred fifty thousand people are collecting two fifty k salary do you know like you, you hear some something executives <laughs> so the problem is like if you're not going to increase people's but it's about you to drop your money because you can't say you don't have the capacity to, to pay the wage bill if it goes too high. Meanwhile, you have the money to pay and allegedly embezzle. So I, I, I think that even for the around the conversation of minimum wage, it's not just about private organizations <sighs> paying people that they are that are working for them. Two hundred and fifty thousand. Don't lose your dad, a politician. You are not saying anything. I've not got anything. Let me the first uh, be done to him. Let's see. Let's see which one. Exactly. That's let's a civil, civil guy waiting for wow, everyone. So to I'm Garulos. You have got very, you know. <laughs> Anyways, so what I was trying to say is. <laughs> um. So the minimum wage is also about the person that works for the private organization that is earning two fifty k has to go home and pay his security guard two hundred and fifty k. Pay their maid two hundred and fifty k. <laughs> Do you understand? Pay people that work for them. How many people can you... Li- minimum can wage. You- minimum wage. Like, you're paying your security man to 50k. You're paying your mid to 50k. You're paying your, you're paying your whatever. The people that help you in your house. You're paying your assistant to 50k. How much is your own salary? So, it just felt like... How much what are you am paying? I making? <laughs> so, I'm, I always even say, like, we're in a... Uh, thankfully, we've not got to Zimbabwe levels. Bruh. Thankfully. But, like, this government doesn't seem like he has a plan, though. To but that's that's the problem. That, like, honestly, like, Everybody can see what's happening in Venezuela. Like, I don't know yeah. if you know, but like, yeah. there was an election yeah. that everybody voted, and like, yeah. the president stole it yeah. allegedly. Then, like, they were protests <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> they were protests <laughs> everywhere, and like, they sent police, but police decided that ah, we we voted, so we're not we're not stopping anybody. Yeah. They got there. The president alleged no, not allegedly, reportedly fled. <laughs> <laughs> do you know <laughs> he reported he fled his presidential villa so like when in those times now like like i said the zimbabwe thing is crazy like zimbabwe launched a new currency this year just to stem because they've launched currency like several yeah. times just to try and stem because yeah. and every time it comes out you can't cheat your economics they deliver us in that company country 
basic they are legal tenders. You know that they are li- one of the legal tenders is, like in fact they are widely used legal tender is the dollar. Yeah. Like it's not even a because their currency is so shit. Like you could pay for something with ten dollars and they give you change on their currency and it's like hundred thousand <laughs> Zimbabwe dollars. And that is equals to some something like, cents. That's insane, right? Like it's crazy. Yeah. So I, I feel like Africa generally we need I don't know man. See please yeah yeah I, I watched I watched a documentary yesterday on YouTube or an explainer I don't know if I should call it a documentary about Kwame Nkrumah mm. about allegedly how the CIA killed Kwame Nkrumah allegedly I don't know about that. Mm. Right. But Lulu, what do you think? <laughs> let me let yeah. Lulu, please see what you want to say. <laughs> Let's stop before, sorry. Before, before, before I start going, <laughs> I'm, going hard. I'm, not, I'm not ready for Tolani. <laughs> before you start going with see, I think this whole protest thing has just so be pre pre 2020. I used to be, I used to be hard on people that were Jack Bryan. I used to be like, <laughs> you be what? what? I used to be hard on Jack Bryan people. On people that were Me Jack too, yeah, yeah. Yesterday was the first time I understood Jack Bryan people. Yesterday, yeah. Maybe, Yesterday okay? was when I maybe not understood. Yesterday was the first time I, I got it. So yeah, exactly. Up I don't until, get it since. Up until 2020, I was very very. Eh? Jackpot is not the solution, eh? right? Right now, I still think Jackpot is still not the solution. Okay. But but you can live with the idea now. <laughs> exactly. Not yeah. even live with the idea now. I just I just get it because like yeah. Some people wake up one day and that's like and they're like, man, fuck this place. Like, Fuck this shit. <laughs> and you know, do you know what is very disheartening about this? Thing? The people that are jack are not low earning people. Low. No, no. Execs with money and that are doing and it's well. And like, it's not like they're going and they're just going to, on a good standing. No, they're, they're going to figure it out. Over. They're going to start over. Yeah, stuff it out. Bro, they're not even starting over. They're starting from minus. Yeah. You know, here, like, maybe when you grow up, you start from zero, yeah. right? More often than not. This one is minus five. Minus. You will not struggle up. And then you will struggle to get but to guess zero. What? They do that shit in less than two years. And it more often than not. But that two years is going to be Rocket. bloody. But that two years, do you know that since that since that the period of bloody. the last protest and now, it's been how many years? What Four. has changed? Some people make because some people don't figure it out. Though. There's also people that don't figure it out. Yeah. So I will come back to Nigeria. Yeah, so people there's, do. Some, there's people that don't figure it out. And pre-2020, I was really, really hard on it. But like between 2020 and now, I just got to a point where I understand that as much as I don't want to be in a place where the people there, the people that own the place don't want me to be there, my place, where I, where I call home is not also very, very conducive. And that's the truth, right? And that's what has just been ringing in my head since like this whole protest, protest thing started. It's like, at the end of the day, you look at people that jackpot in 2020 and you realize that maybe they made the right, right decision. Decision. the right decision. They made a great decision. Maybe not the right decision, but a great decision. A great decision. A lot of Nigerians were broken after October 20. Yep. So, I, you, I don't know if you guys saw it, but like on Twitter, there was like a, um, a measure of the amount of people that went to Canada between in like the past 10 years i don't know if you guys and, then, no, and, and then the last four years in the last and bro in the last four years nigeria literally exploded like so it was it was going up um incrementally between like the 2000s into like the mid 20 the 20 and the wildest part is that going to canada is not cheap and it's not the cheapest <laughs> you know and between 2020 and now it has it literally exploded so now we are in like the top five immigrants in Canada. Top five. Yeah. And as of the two thousands, we're not even top ten. We're not even top twenty. And Nigerians are getting PR straight from here, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. So it's like it's like I know two people already last I, week. I you then you then understand the decisions that they made at the time. It's it's not an easy decision to make. I can tell it's you I hard. can tell everybody that categorically it's not a very easy decision to make. But when where you live is not very conducive, you then subject yourself to things like that. And it's not it's just necessarily not the ideal situation for a budding talent. Whatsoever I, it is, like, whatsoever industry you are. I also understand it from the perspective of people that are raising children. I of feel course. like they don't want to raise children in this country. Of and course. Those are the people that I understand the most. Yeah, me too. 
I also feel like if you have the capacity to not raise your children here and you then decide to, I'm like, I don't, I'm, I'm really mad at you. Like, why? Like, see, some, some people, I hear you, right? But, but it's not also the easiest it's not, decision it's not, for me. Melody, it's not the easiest No, I just said if you have the capacity to not even raise them if here. You I hear you. But even if you have the capacity, mm. it's still not the easiest Let's decision to make. As a Nigerian, the best place to live is here. That's all facts. things being equal. I disagree. No, 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 no. As all things in Nigerian, Nigerian all if things Nigeria was equal, good, the best, the place, best to place to live is yeah. is in your home country. Yeah. Okay, as a person. Yes. yes. Okay, your home country. As a Nigerian person, the best place to live. I don't. Agree. Is in your home country. Either you're living in, either you're Yoruba living in Igbo land or Hausa land, or you're Hausa so, living in Igbo Yoruba. Like is is here. Let me let me let me explain something agree. to you. Let me explain something to you. Let's break it down into like your house right mm-hmm. you have your house mm-hmm. tolani's house is being is going through a lot right injury right god forbid god forbid right but <laughs> but then tolani needs to live in your house i don't imagine right as much as tolani lives in your house does he it's make not, it's not the best is his home yeah is his house anyways because at the end of the day now let me let's let's even put it in context, right? Okay. At the end of the day, Tony now comes to your house, not chowing all your food. <laughs> you did chop all your food. You don't see what they do xenophobia for us. You did like you see china chi 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 di mama. You don't milk where you buy puts for kini tolani chop and finish. You will start the look and say hello. Hello. I think we're even going to like what you said. Social to actually have like to start building a social life, yeah, bro. start building a community, pretty, community like, like, community, like yeah. just little, little things like yeah. that. So, I get what Talani is saying, and again, like when you know somewhere, like the back of your hand, guy, you can survive, you'll you be can, fine, like you'll be fine. But, like, like they said, like I know people that is like, there's one guy, I'm not gonna mention his name, but mm-hmm. this, guy, this guy's salary was like seven million per month in Nigeria, yep, my guy has left Nigeria. Wait, Nigeria are you last year. Yeah, my guy, like he left Nigeria with his family. To what country? To the UK. Seven million per month. But think he about left. It. He has three Wait, children. Also, like you don't understand. Like he they literally had an accident scare, and it was like, it was off. Your, your driver is driving safe, and some of two marwa entered their own this The almost three children, no, almost met the same car. Ah, come on now. I, see. Man, I was like, I'm not doing it again. Like, like he left the studio. I mean, also it's, think it's, about it's coming back to Nigeria because like the job didn't let him go. Yeah. But it's coming back to Nigeria. But like, it's like his family is not like what are they come to him and do again? Like, but think about it this way, right? Yeah. As of last year, that seven million was seven thousand dollars. Bro. Bro, now it's like three three thousand five. Bro, <laughs> like, mm. which is why mm. the inflation shit is unreasonable. <laughs> <It's like, laughs> <laughs> my brother in Christ, every time I see my face sleep and I see tax, I'm just like, please, can you open, tell the government that I'm not paying tax? I'm not doing a game. Because, to be honest, what are, like, what are you doing like, with this tax? Doing? Like, you're not giving me any value for this like, tax. Is, the, the government is also in penury. Why? Because of ah, because what? of high cost of Tolani, living from Tolani. Tolani. Like, they are borrowing code? money with oil well that. Oh. Don't understand. Like they are, bor- they are borrowing money and giving people oil well. Like we are take dig there ten years, bro. It's not ten I years. I am penury. See, I will swear for you. <laughs> ah, swear for them actually. Don't say I will. Okay. The problem. Hey, see, show phone. The problem. <laughs> the problems are very deep. Why are you pressing your phone? The problems. So apologize very- to the audience. <laughs> That's very stupid. <laughs> because to be honest, Tolani is a big fool. The, the problems are very, very, very deep. It's very, it's very. When you think about it, it's very saddening. And you think, okay, what's the way out, bro? Once you think that way out, you say, go look, say, oh, mo, yeah, no go just skidadu small because only oh, skidadu. <laughs> because, bro, that way out. Even if we start getting that, start today, it's going to still take us thirty to forty years. You guys so, think that the government of the day power. could? Repeat an October 20 situation. You guys, please. <laughs> okay, that's that's your legacy. As far as me, I'm concerned. And that is that party. That to me, to me, that's your legacy. You, you guys, should not be angry. Let's not let's not activate. My, my my opinion, right? I think Nigerian politicians have Nigerian daddy syndrome. All of them. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> You know what Nigerian artist is, is the concept of 
I know, I know what's good, good for you. you. Yes. It's only me that knows. I know better than you because I'm older than you and I'm more experienced. And than you cannot you. see what I'm seeing from. And you cannot see what I'm seeing because I can see your future. Story. You understand? And I will force you to accept it even by killing you and killing you. Yeah. You understand? And they're also very fantastic at trying to tell you what they, they think. They actually think that social media is bad for us. Like, but the problem is, yeah. The problem is this: what you actually hate, which you have not confronted, is that we're telling is the fact you, that you hate the power you. that I am talking to you. Yeah. I'm talking back at you. And I'm exposing that you. Don't like you it. And I'm exposing. That's why it, it's Nigerian Daddy syndrome. It's, it's, yeah, that's the title of this episode, Nigerian Daddy syndrome. And we're, and, we're exp- <laughs> and they feel like you are showing our distance to the world. You are talking back at us, even though for social media, people let Like yeah. remember the last, the last inside. Do you know during the entire inside situation and people were protesting and you know the entire thing happening in the country the one thing that i found very very funny Pungent. was even funny it was funny to me was the fact that they were desmond elliot was really okay having a conversation with you know his guys talking about nigerian youth what we need to do Afro. to them what we need to do to social media social media he was speaking so passionately with his friends with his guys in their desmond idiot Astolani. In their in their chamber. Just say. <laughs> they were so all they were, they were so happy and cool. And next thing, immediately it came on social media. Everybody, it's not like, ah, oh, no. Was shocked. That's not was what shocked. I meant. And I'm like, so that means you're okay with saying these things, but you're not okay with people finding out or it getting public. <laughs> and the way the tone does change, I'm just like, you guys, this is how you guys make the decisions about us and about our future. When we are not there and the kind of things that you people say like i'm always questioning the thought process like this is how you really think these are the people representing us and this is how you think it's scary and part of my problem with this administration is i was seeing some postulations today <laughs> i need to read it to you guys as a as a journalist i need to read i need to read it to you guys someone said Hold on. <laughs> yeah someone said this man literally said we should give him the power because it's his turn. Emilokon, in quotes. And people obliged. Exclamation mark. There was no sense of reasoning that someone who feels entitled to power, like a birthright, will bring to the country into like a birthright will bring the country into ruins. Not because he's the most qualified, not because he has solid plans for the nation, but because it is supposedly his turn. You heard that you heard that yet he chose to be a pawn in his game and jeopardize your future and that of 200 million Nigerians. Okay. Oh, wow. save me that bullshit of being surprised. He ended up being terrible. All the signs were freaking there! Exclamation mark. All of it! Exclamation mark. Hashtag. Ah, Hashtag. And bad governance in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> but, but even that, even I feel like even going to that conversation. Said, I'm not. You know, the said, "I'm not gonna hold let my, you go." Hold my beer. It's <laughs> <laughs> <H> for headless. Holy, heavy local. Quote. This guy was such a shy. My problem is how how APC boys like to shalaye stupid things. Like nobody, nobody should be able to pay you enough for that shalaye. My guy, I work in the music industry. Do you understand? Like, there are some things that you don't need to shallow you. You look fucking dumb, bro. He said, hashtag, quote and unquote, Emilokon was for his party members. You all, he quoted it. You all can spin it anyhow you want, you like, but we all witnessed it. Emilokon has nothing to do with his general campaign. He Who said, said it when he was, I don't know. I don't want to mention that. The person responded. Yeah. He said it when he was reeling out of sacrifice <laughs> and, activis- and activities in the party palais. That's all. Please, I beg. My problem with the question is, what did we expect for someone that was using the hashtag the Biloko? No, I think that's for that Yoruba was... people to answer. No, 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 no. I don't, no I, I, don't, I don't even think it's Yoruba. Oh, thing. please. No, no, I'm not going to make it a tribe conversation. Oh, please. I think... I'm not, even, I'm not going to make it a tribe conversation. Mm. I think that part is a very deep conversation. Mm. What I'm going to focus on is the mentality behind it which is someone feel it feels like this person wanted to become president because of ambition because they just wanted to have their name nigerian president from x to x not because of a pressing need for change do you understand not because they want to genuinely change the fortunes of the country it was more a vanity metric 
ticking a vanity metric. That's what it feels like to me. Than leading a country in jeopardy out of ruins. That's what it feels like. So what did people expect? Like look at the WhatsApp situation, for example. Did you guys read the WhatsApp situation? Yeah, that's the, the, yeah. That, have to take that, about. Take about as a That they might pull out of. They, it's not that they might pull out. Uh-huh. Allegedly, they yeah. are being fined two hundred yeah. million dollars. And it might affect them staying here. Allegedly, Allegedly. I saw that. I saw that. But, what is on? I don't know. I only saw the headline. I didn't see. Yeah. You read the story. Who was your journalist? I read it. Dennis. Yeah. I I read read it. It. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. But what, what do you guys think? Before before you get meal, this entire Emilio Con thing, I will personally I agree with some of most of the things that you said about it, but I will personally say that the people that championed that Emilio Con conversation the most during the last election were Yoruba people. And they were of the opinion that yes, it is our turn. It's our turn for Yoruba people to lead. It's our turn for Yoruba person to be president. A lot of Yoruba people aligned with that Amy Lokon hashtag. And it's not even about trying to make it a that was one of the things that one of the things that I, Yoruba, a lot of Yoruba people aligned with and were chanting during the election that oh yes, it's our turn as Yoruba people, let's come together, let's let's put our own person there. Our Lokon is the Yoruba turn. It was a conversation. It was. So I don't was. disagree with you. It was a conversation. But what I'm I need like, you to understand that? is that this country, the, I was having a conversation with a very intellectual person yesterday that studies are around politics that we don't want their name to be put out there. The biggest problem we have in this country is that motherfucking Lord Lugard that decided to amalgamate the country in 1914. That's the biggest problem. <laughs> it's a yeah. bunch of very different people that you've brought together into a country. And that's part of our biggest problem. And it's like, you don't want to now, do it. It's not part of our, it's literally the, the biggest problem. It's literally the biggest issue. It's the it's foundation biggest, of... It's the biggest reason for our divide. It's yes. the foundation of our problem. Now, Fluid in his babe to name you, bro. Shout out to, shout out to my nigga. Fluid in his babe, He and the guy that uh, made us a unitary um, uh, government. What's that one? That guy too. is put flogram somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and those people are just chilling yeah. in their... In their grave. In their grave. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> the truth is, America is amalgamated with so much... But it's a true boy, federalism. But it's a true federalism. Yeah. yeah. This unitary form of government, I don't know what you're doing here. I think... So, my problem is, you are not wrong. But I need to let you know that all the other tribes, either they want to admit it or not, feel the same way. About someone from their own tribe representing 100%. them. One hundred percent. Yeah. Do you understand? Maybe n- <laughs> they will not admit it. Mm. They will not admit it. Let me tell you something. A part of the core evil people that supported Peter Obi, aside from the fact that he was the person that presented the best case, I voted for him, right? A part of them was voting because of an our local situation, and that's the truth. Do you understand? Because they even their our local situation is even stronger than this homeboy's own. Because since, yes, because since we gained independence, since democracy, since democracy became a thing in the country, we have not had an Igbo president. Do you understand? The, our local situation for them is stronger than homeboy's own, but I need them to also admit it. Do you understand? Wait, I need, I need Igbo no. people to, just give me a second. And Let me be done with my point. Say, let me cook. <laughs> I, I need them to be able to admit it that our a local situation was in there and if okay, it was, was an, in there do you understand and and the if the house people as well still wanted to retain power this country is is built on re, on tribal divides and people want to choose their own as much as possible people representation can come at, do you understand they can come out and tell me that oh it was the best president you don't know fuck shit if he's going to be a great president you don't know i hear that that you people, don't know. people vote based on representation a lot. One hundred percent. But I also feel like the part I was saying no to was when you were saying that they need to come out to say that this, so long as they have not done any, they've not done any political campaign. And do you know how bold it is for you to build a campaign around saying that? And you are people are chanting it. The evil people that are that voted for Peter Obi, he didn't come out to tell us um, our local so vote for me. But you could feel it in the attitude. But they didn't say it. So, like, there's a difference between. I don't understand between saying between, it. There's a difference between feeling that and saying it. And actually not just saying it. it. You can feel it. You can say it. Now make but it your campaign. But it gets to a point where like you are the bedrock. It. It becomes a I don't problem. understand. It's the bedrock of your entire nah. thing. Because bro, Fair like enough. this guy was not like even article was even like trying like trying and saying oh this like, can of all the candidates like of, I voted for Peter Abitso but like of all the candidates like if you dig into for stuff that we're talking about article was the only person that actually was mentioning true federalism. Yep. was the only candidate of the three of them that like were the big ones that was like oh um part of my thing would be like it was probably like his second point after subsidy yeah 
So like it was a big thing for him too. But like I didn't vote for him because like we all have our sentiments. Like yeah. this guy been here for many years. Yeah. Like, we'll relax, nigga. And like you said, you can't know somebody who's going to be a, a, fantastic. a fantastic president. Yeah. Like I'm right, I'm everybody voted for Abiola. Everybody, everybody voted for Abiola. Yeah. But I think I don't know where I heard this. Why I saw it, but somebody said something about how oh, it was this guy that Max Yulun. Yeah, he said, he said there's a, his theory is that this new presidency is basically like a rerun of what Abela's president would have looked like. And I said that, I said that, that makes a lot just of for, sense. Though. Just for reading, I've read the guys because I've read about Abiola a bit. I realized that Abiola is not a saint. Yeah. That guy had his hand in every legal, one hundred percent illegal shit that was happening in Nigeria. Whether na liga, liga, anything. Abiola was na liga. was just that. It was very popular, it was philanthropic, it was very loved. passionate about like it was very, very loved. Now, obviously, like the guy Tinubu also is loved among a lot of people. Yeah. Like I know somebody that voted for him because it was like, oh, Loyalty. Tinubu was the governor was um when I was a child, my school was free. This 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 why would I not vote for why would I not vote for him now? To do it again. She understand. And the thing is like at that point, like it's philanthropic compared to people that read you also knew that like like there's some people that they would like okay so I mean like there's somebody I'm sure she's gonna watch this. Like we were talking last year and I just said like, oh yeah I think we support her bye bye. Oh wow yeah it was bye bye it was a bye bye situation and we started talking again this year and she did something and I'm like oh you're actually stubborn like I understand it's called of personality that's yeah, what yeah. Tinubu is it's called of personality that's yeah. Richard right that's supporting him that's why the our local thing resonated with the a lot of people. Him. That supported him and the full difference, like already mentioned, now is that the Peter Obi cult of personality is built on the fact that this person that we are seeing, we as think, far as the Nigerian politician, we think he looks like a trans, you know, even he just he talks and you're like, okay, okay, he talks, I'm buying it. So you don't even have to buy it, so let him be done. You don't even buy it, you are believing it because, like, the only reason why, you, honestly, if you notice, the only thing they were doing throughout talking, if they had found one thing against Peter Obi, one thing, one thing. Just one, I promise you that compared to the other candidates, I never disqualify him 100%. It's not even comparison, they didn't find anything, they didn't bring up anything. And the thing is, every time they dug, there was nothing discredited. So, like, the next thing is like, if somebody like like discredited everything, so even till now, fine, according to our next election, he came third in the election. But every time they are addressing whatever, they just keep article and go to him because, bro, we know what really happened. We know what really happened. Allegedly, we know what really happened. So That's what I'm going to say. Not reportedly. You want to say something? No, I have nothing. So, my, I don't disagree with you. I think you make a good point. The only problem I have is I don't like hypocrisy, which is a lot of things that I was saying in the, in the months leading up to the elections. I don't know if some people saw my tweets and the things that I was saying. I didn't like the fact that a lot of Nigerians were shaming other Nigerians because they felt like they were better people because they were voting for Tinubu and because other people were voting for, for and because they were voting for Peter Obi and because other people were voting for Tinubu. First things first, which is what I've been I've been saying for years, voting is a selfish venture. Do you understand? It's a selfish venture. You can break it down any anyhow you want, but it's a selfish venture. Let me break it down to you why. Everybody optimizes for what benefits them personally. The only reason why a lot of us f- started to feel like Peter Obi was a better candidate was because a lot of our interests were aligned as young people. But when you break it down to the sum of the parts, everybody was voting for the person that they thought either was going to benefit them personally as a president or someone that would benefit what they are doing as a person. Do you understand? <laughs> Voting. It's a selfish venture. I disagree again. Well, that, see, if for anything, right? You understand? That's facts. It's a selfish, <laughs> it's a selfish very, very venture. venture. It's, 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 it's like, a selfish venture. I don't see no, how voting is because let, let, you let me, do something for me. Let me be the, let, Melody, when you truly... You don't have to agree now. When you get home, sit down and examine it. Voting is a selfish venture. I agree with that one. Do you understand? Everybody votes... If you for, Everybody optimizes for what benefits them... If you worked in government, if you worked in government and they promised you a position Bruh. that was going to literally change your life if they get into power, do you think that will not skew your Are you judgment? joking? That's what I'm saying. That I agree with the personal venture and the selfishness. Yeah, but I don't agree that it's for everybody. It's for every, no. everybody. I feel like thing. most people that voted for the most people that voted for the person in power 
voted because they felt like that person coming into power will benefit them maybe with, with you know um proximity what did you say just now will benefit who them exactly no i'm, I'm not i'm not even done context. explaining what i'm saying no i'm saying that the people the person in power now some people that voted for him voted based on proximity like oh if i vote this person and he gets into one of your um what did brian will say about why he was what did he say we have a city boy he said I'll, have, I'll be able to go and see but melody what I'll did you spot to, where we have and when there's a problem i'll I just just paraphrasing what he said. I will go to the. I will go something about being able having access but to what, what, the person what, in power. Exactly. But would, most, would they have access yeah, to another person? But most people that voted, like I don't want to sound sanctimonious, but for people that voted for Peter, will be literally voted because they felt like he would be good for the nation. And then in what? Who is the nation in their in their voting? It's your personal. You see your personal. Oh. Okay, I get that. But it's not like shifting down to like giving you. But, 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 but that, yeah, when you bring, yeah, yeah, down. I was gonna say like those are my egg balls. Yeah. Like I got go like contacted like as part of this you know, and girls like he's not doing it. yeah he's not and doing he's, 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 no 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 he he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he's not doing the like, fact doing what was, like it was a thing wasn't to work with their campaign and, and he said no he's not doing but but then it's why did he say he said he was not interested like he doesn't think he's a good candidate like he doesn't think he's a good president so, for nigeria wh- which means what was his personal interest that's at what i was saying but like when you mentioned See, when you mentioned when when you mentioned when you mentioned the whole like oh no 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 that would change your life I, no, no, like, no, yeah, yeah, that position I'll change your no, life. I that get one, that. I get what you're Honestly, saying. like, no, okay, fair. Like, if somebody comes to meet me now and says, "Oh, we're going to give you this job," da 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 da, working for these people. This is your job description. Like, I'll look at myself first of all. Like, I'm not poor. There's food at home. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Too. There's so, food at home. Do you understand? It's just it's a, it's human condition. Obviously, there's a greed thing there. But 100%. like, the selfishness. Is, not yeah, good. yeah, selfishness. But like, there's it gets to a point where. When you decide that okay, this is my ceiling, some things don't move you. Yeah, some things do, like we're all in the industries where like there's always tempting stuff. One hundred percent. Like we're all there. Like so, like I get the selfish part, but like, when it now comes to like position, money, design. Like, no, mm. one. Lo- I so what, one lo- what okay, I wanted to say, what I said is that type of offer would. I didn't say make your decision. I said it would skew, skew. It would skew your decision. Oh, fair, 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 fair. Because yeah. that now comes into play. Yeah. yeah. Right. It is on the table. You now have to actually look at it and say, okay, do I want to take this or do I want to go for what I The person that voted right. for a person because they felt like it would make them their lives personally better is not hmm. the benefits is with listen, the benefit is greater, but it's no different. It's from not the person yeah, from the right. politician that's voted because he wants to get a position. It's all yes personal. now. Do you understand? Yes now. The, all of them are ben- optimizing for what benefits them yes. personally. Yeah. Yes, mm. yes, Do you understand? Yes, yes, it's yes, a yes. personal but some thing. Some people are voting for so, this, for the greatness of the nation. It's still a personal thing. I don't Because it's about one. making your, your personal mm-hmm. life. Bro, if the, if the, the nation, nation was great, great you and your life is not good, you know, life not going to touch you. People that voted for Do you think do you care about Lulu's life being better during an election or your life? So, be honest of course it's my life exactly but you're making it seem like somebody that's voting to, for position of coming to go and collect office is the same as someone who is voting collectively you know, you know, for melody the is, nation melody, and what the not, nation so let me, let me break that down to you what I'm trying to break what I'm trying to break what I'm trying personally. to break down to you is the people that are voting for position and money it's not a lot of them. They are the exception to the rule. The reason why... That's part of why I had the problem with those people. Yeah. A lot of them were feeling like... Because a lot of people had aligned interest, aligned interest in voting for one candidate yeah. that was Peter Obi. Yeah. It made us better. No, it didn't make us like better. There was a those people... Idea do you understand? Me. Those people, they are not a lot of them. They are more of us than there are people of them. So it's going to look like we are better because our interests are more aligned. It feels like there are more of us. You understand that, that most of and it's 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 also very funny. It's also very interesting that the demographic of people on social media is mostly people like us. Do you understand? But when you look at the country, it's a very small subsection of subculture of this of the country. Twitter is a subculture in Nigeria. When you really break it down, do you understand? X is a subculture. Facebook represents the majority, but it doesn't have the retention yeah. and the stickiness. Instagram is the intermediary. TikTok is even smaller. Do you understand? Yeah. When you r- now try to start understanding, you are going to realize that what's internet penetration in Nigeria? Yeah. We spoke about this on the last episode. It's not yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. Now, so when it's a lot. But, not a but lot. it's not a lot. It's not in a grand scheme of things, thing. it's not a lot. It's not a lot. It's not the, it's Do you not, understand? It's not the when you consider the people that are voting, the people that are voting don't even have fucking multimedia phones. Yes. Do you understand? And the people that they are rigging, using to rig the vote don't even have information. Yes. 
Do you understand? Yeah. So when you really, really then understand it, it comes down to honesty. Which is why I have a problem with people that come and start pointing fingers at other. All of us are yeah. optimizing for what benefits us personally. Yeah, and you, nobody has a crystal ball of who will be a good president. Be a I agree. President. That one is true. Do you understand? Well, and another mean... problem that I had was this Mizaya homeboy. Complex. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Homeboy True, he was a masterclass in marketing. Do you understand? Everybody started to feel like this person was not a member of the Nigerian political elite. He was. He is. He is a member of the Nigerian political elite. As a contested under PDP. What are you playing? Do you understand? He is. But the reason why was because the people he was competing against were trash niggas. With all due respect, <laughs> they were trash niggas. In comparison, do you understand? Like one of them didn't seem like they could, you know. The other person, their reputation had already had jumping from one place to another. Meanwhile, I think the biggest losers in this in this situation was PDP. In my mm-hmm. opinion, I've been saying this for years. If it will be had contested under PDP as a flag bearer, I have voted for him. Yes, I would have. Do you think that the following that he had, that thought that he was stainless, do you think they would have voted for him under PDP? One hundred. No. They rolled this nigga out to perfection. Everybody knew he was coming, but nobody really knew when he was going to come. And all the young people, like, they were building in blocks. Word of mouth. Mm. Oh, listen to this nigga. And do you know what the, good, what the best thing about it? The moment you listen to homeboy talk, you were sold. Yeah, I believe in that. Do you believe in those raps? Do you understand? Uh, the, moment you, the moment you listen to homeboy <laughs> talk, <laughs> you are sold. He wouldn't have won that underdog. That underdog narrative. No, 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 he wouldn't have been underdog he anymore. Didn't need he the underdog. wouldn't have had that messiah concept on that. Do you people forget that Nigerians love grass to pushing somebody that's a obscure person and making them the messiah? Nigerians love a grass, a no, grass he would have still been, to great story. Have still been fighting against they like the underdog making you the hero. Would have, they won't have. He would have still, still been fighting been against, against the kingmaker. Okay. It's fine. Like, I'll literally, I'll right now, I'll let's I'll even, let's even, let's even, let's even juxtapose it against like the American. Right now, Kamala Harris is the underdog. Do you know how weird it is? That is. A vice president. A vice president is the underdog right now. Sitting vice president. Yeah. Do you know how weird it is? <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> but also, in this protest situation, did you guys see how people started coming for Brenner in the situation asking him? Fella, fella. Please, can we fe- not? Fella, I recruit. What the fuck? Fella, I recruit. I feel like he's not. You know my biggest problem? Nobody asked him. Nope. Honestly, how did the conversation start? It, people, people were dragging him out. People were dragging no. him. How did Lolo the conversation start? People were dragging so, him. They, people were dragging Lolo, how did the conversation let's, let's start? Say, okay, let's yeah. say we, I noticed the conversation when he attacked, when he, 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 he No, no, I didn't. Um, I, I saw him. Uh, well, let me responded. tell you how it started. My guy quoted a tweet that he tweeted from 2020. 2020. No, and no. he said this is the day that my son's going to die. No, 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 no. Before then, if people were already calling they already his taking, name. People were calling his name. Yeah. She understand. That's, is it, no, that instance thing was like a prolonged thing like for a week. He said something about... This one, like, you know, nobody... Honestly, honestly, nobody asked you when your faith died. <laughs> let me... Th- we've had this conversation. There are so many artists that like, they do stuff and I'm like, the reason why I would... The, your, your Like... I'm going to mention the name now that like we probably agree about or we agree definitely. Mm-hmm. I always tell you that someone like J. Cole now, for example, we're like, oh, you always hate. And I'm like, the problem, problem I have with J. Cole is that a lot of the time... You have been hating for years. It, do, it does stuff and you're like, nobody asked you, bro. Oh, my, it's touching my heart, nigga. I'm ah, so sorry. That's, that's unfair. That's unfair to say about J. Cole. I don't Cole. understand. No, no, no. no. I'm going to... Like, wait, we're not going to... We can, we, can, we can go there. For Let's go. Today. After the podcast. Okay, okay. We can go there if we want to go there. No, go there. First of all, first of all K.O.D. Who asked J. Cole to make K.O.D.? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask that question. Who asked him to make KOD? Is that album a necessary album? Think no, about it. It's not. Are you guys for real? Boy, it was, no, I'm it asking you a question. Yeah. He was the captain of the cruise. Yeah. Asked, that, from, what what, what does, from wait, 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 Dennis, that what does KOD, KOD mean? What does KOD mean? Ah, I forgot to know. I forgot to know, but I really like You that realize album. that homeboy had like three titles for the meaning of KOD. So what? So what? What's your King, point? King over those. Uh-huh. Kids on drugs. Uh-huh. I know kings on. Kids I, on I don't remember. But I remember. I remember, I, I, you remember I, I, I know the crazy part. Because you know I'm part, actually like, a Jaco fan, but I really don't remember. Oh no, no, that's, you know part, that's part being very hateful. That's you no. Know, this is the problem. Problem. The problem is that people think that you can't listen to an artist and also actually critique them. I really love Jaco's music. For yes. what it is, as far as like an artist that has heart or whatever. Yeah. But first of all, one, he's not a great rapper. One. 
Hey, bro. Ah, who? He's ah, not a great rapper now. Like, ah, come on, you guys should stop. Ah, Wait, what? No, 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 no. I'm not ah, saying anything controversial here. Yeah. Ah, cookie. He's not a great rapper, cookie. too. Ah, Am I lying, Tolani? Then who the great? So, ah, then who is the great cookie. rapper? <laughs> He's not a great rapper. Give us your top three great rappers. Oh my! Oh, come on now. Nah. Let's not go do on now. Let's not no, do that. It's, it's a lot. That's a lot. Let's, 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 let's not go into that. Let's not go into that. Oh my God! Let's not go into that. Let's not go into that. Let's not go into that. No, don't say that. Okay, who is a great rapper to you? He's not a great rapper artist, and he does things that people don't ask him about. Let me tell you. Whenever you hear Jeko make music that is great, whenever you hear Jeko make music that is great, honestly, like whenever you hear Jeko make music that is great, you can tell that like he's making it because, bro, what is grippy? Who asked Jacob to make grippy? <laughs> Honestly, think mm. about it. Am I lying? <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, let's come back to the conversation. If you listen to Burner Boy, sometimes, whenever Burner Boy is being super fluid, you can tell, bro, I told them, great album. Which album? But great I told album. Them, not great album, good album. Which album? I told, I told them. them last year. Actually, pretty decent. But I, sometimes you're like, nobody asked you this nigga. <laughs> I'm not lying. Who asked you to make thank you? Fair enough. <laughs> that one I, I can't. I and I'm not saying that artists can't make stuff based on their feelings, but you can tell that you're fabricating this thing because nobody asked you. No, that's you didn't ask lie. yourself. Who asked Burner Boy no, to make things? Asked... Even he like... himself. Wait, but Dennis, can you can you can, can we settle down? What do you mean by who asked him to make thank you? Like well, what's what, the content of thank you? The... I know I know what thank you is about now. The one that he was talking to Nigeria. <laughs> so, bro, this guy came to Nigeria, made you niggas stand for hours on end. But thank God, though, I got tickets. I gave it out. Some people went there. So, the person that even called my ticket was like, bro, I reached out 3 o'clock. I don't see Bonner Boy. Yes, no. I don't see Bonner Boy. So he now comes out you know, and makes thank that, you. So that it, Please tell yeah. me why he made thank you. I understand, like... I understand what I understand the part where you're saying that. That guy just made an enemy. Is the enemy is not dead? No. Ah, <laughs> uh, Nigerians hate on Bruna. Then it's not that. That, speak on that enemy. No, that's not true. Isn't dead. That's not true. That's the, not true. No, now, no, no. Now, we, now you are lying. So if for anything, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. If for anything, right? No. I don't. Know, I don't agree. I don't know a greater sect of people that actually carries artistry on their head like Nigerians. Like as oh. much as badly behaved as that guy is. It will still drop an album tomorrow and we'll still jam because it. Because the music is good. And the music is good. Music is that fantastic. One is very, very undeniable. But what's Please, when I when I said something, I said something before. But I, I mentioned two reasons for somebody before. Yeah. What did we say about Bonner Boy? His music is great. Yes. And sometimes nobody asks him stuff. Yeah. That's yeah. one down. Yeah. Yes. That's one left. Yeah. So yes. automatically you go back. You go back, yes. You go back. The Bonner, this Bonner Boy conversation we're having, fine, people will drag you. You are a celebrity. People, yeah. people came for Alamide and people were explaining on his behalf. Alamide, Have you heard Alamide said anything? On the APC conversation. And I'm, and I'm not saying that there's no reason for artists not to explain themselves. Yeah. But there's sometimes that some things happen and if you don't have tact, it shows. The point about you think like, oh, I've passed it on to Files. Bro, like, that's a narrative that people have been running down for the last four years. You're basically just repeating yourself and say that let's move African Giant title and give it to Files. Like, like you don't still have the album titled African Giant. <sighs> Go and retitle the album then. Can I, can I start? Can I say something? You can. I think everybody's right. Yeah. Fair. That nigga gets dragged though. I think you're right. Uh, but you can't come and say that I think uh, I'm right. a coward and but here's you can't hide. Melody, now. here's the problem. Why is nobody dragging portable? Who cares? Exactly. Why does nobody care? It's not, yeah. Melody no. doesn't come out and sing. My people are running away. Yeah, he's not giving us activism music. Right. So. First is first, I've said it several times on different iterations of the pod, of this pod, that I don't like how people shame celebrities into talking. I don't Same. like it. I'm not a fan of it. Same. I'm not a fan of you trying to poke celebrities into talking. I, I hate it. Do you understand? Celebrities are not your leaders. They mm-hmm. don't owe you activism. They can decide to do it. It would be nice if they did. The, the, the conversation gets crystallized on a different level when they do. When is it? When is but name in front they of don't him? owe anybody activism. They make music. And if they're not that guy, they're just not that do guy. Do you understand? It's just like you in your office. You go to the office and there are people are protesting about salary, not paying salary for three months. And you, you have family to feed. You know that you can't do this job. And you know that even though they've owed you salary from January to March, they are going to pay six months salary by July. And you have a family to feed. You can say, I'm not joining you people's protest. Sorry, I'm happy, no? What's equivalence, but You're, yes. It's literally the same thing. I don't agree. N- listen, a group of people are working in an office. They have not paid salary for three months. Mm-hmm. Right? 
they are trying to co-opt you into joining a protest oh we are saying pay our money you are saying nah nigga and i ain't joining you niggas do you mm-hmm. understand you are saying i don't want to because i know that by july i can manage to july and by july they are going to pay my six month salary and mm-hmm. i can go and use that one for a job i can use that one for a lot of things do you understand mm-hmm. and guess what the company also doesn't stop you from doing side p mm-hmm. do you understand you can make money from other of the avenues now if you decide if you, if you decide not to join those people because of that reason I can understand it. It's not. It's no different from you, from a celebrity who is also a person. Just because they are stuck in trade, is making music, doesn't mm. make them a better citizen than you. If they, mm. a lot of regular Nigerians decide not to vote, you can't shame them. You shouldn't shame them into voting. My opinion. Mm-hmm. It's not a fact, right? But when you, part of your brand, is based on social political conversations, bam. Hmm. You, it's not just part of your brand. Your the, the greatest, the greatest, the fuel for your piloting into international markets was on some new fella shit. Let's be honest. The the fuel that piloted you, the fuel that piloted you into Grammy reckoning was social political awareness. Even though in convers in interviews you couldn't even articulate your points very well. Let's be honest. You know what I'm saying? You understand? And because of that, I think the reason why he responded this to it, he, he thought he was going to kill this one out of the park and his fans were going to be able to quell the conversations. That's what I think that's what he thought, in my opinion. Right? But the problem was in 2020, you didn't say shit. And I think he still has is trying to get ahead of the conversation because he didn't get ahead of the conversation in 2020. That's my take. In 2020, homeboy didn't talk for weeks. But he eventually did. He eventually did and said his mom was sick. Mm, okay. But I think he did a billboard, he did something. Mm, okay. He <sighs> said his mom was sick. That's why they couldn't talk. I didn't even know that one. No while. We are going to see. Meanwhile, my own point is first things first, a lot of people, a lot of people are starting to question the brand. Because a lot of people are starting to question what the brand is built on. Built on. Do you understand? He moves like a like a mekuno, but you're actually a privileged guy. You were born with a silver spoon in your mouth. I become a person. Nah, you're not, nigga. <laughs> Get out. Of here. He doesn't move like a mekuno, does he? He do. He kind of. Are does. you joking? Kind of. Mm. You understand? It, 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 if you. I, I watched an interview where this guy, I think he was on Breakfast Club or somewhere, where they asked him what his father did. And he said his father was a, he owned a vulcanizing company or something like that. Not Breakfast Club. It, it wasn't Breakfast Club, Abby. Breakfast. But you know the interview I'm talking about. I don't know the interview. But yeah, there was an interview, interview that he had a couple of years ago that they asked him what his father was doing. He, he refused to talk about his father, which was quite interesting. I would have liked him to talk about his father. Let's, let's hear what you have to say about your father. You understand? So my, my problem is if you built your brand on that, like the first part where he started where he started having when Nigerians started having problems with him was he used to mock Nigerians during protests. He mocked Nigerians in 2020, in the earlier part of 2020. Oh go so far. You don't forget. Have you guys forgotten this thing? I actually can't remember. I don't more. remember. You remember he did. during the it was not it was not the protest, it was during Lockdown during lockdown, he mocked Nigerians. Oh, during lockdown, yeah. yeah. What was was he was he responding to somebody dragging him? No, or no, he was no. Just... So it was from the I think I I think I um, Fukaki. I think Fukaki got arrested. Arrest, arrest. Yeah. he got arrested, mm-hmm. and then he was mocking Nigerians that oh you guys are not ready yet. When you're ready, you get out and you would protest. Oh really? Yeah. Actually, I can remember now. Yeah. I can remember. Someone used it as the intro to the album. I can remember. 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 remember. Do you understand? Like, part of my problem with him is they built a perfect brand for you. But whoever was driving that brand didn't understand how to handle you during crunch time. Do you understand? And the chink or the the glitches in the matrix started to show. And they didn't know how to rescue it. Because part of the problem is you're also kind of a narcissist. All artists are narcissists, sadly. Or to the good, both good and bad. All artists are narcissists. But the good part is they need narcissism to survive. But with him, the narcissism is kind of on another level. 
for understandable reasons. But part of the problem is also problems like this. Because if someone was going to tweet that, they should have been your PR person. Not you. It's very obvious that he was the one that tweeted that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so guys, can we agree that he is easily one of the most dragged Nigerian celebrities? He was also one of the most loved. And that's not what I asked. But Tolani said something last week. He comes oh, to the territory drag, now. Though. But no, now. He did say he comes oh, to the God. territory. Like, no, I, I can agree to that, but he comes to the territory. Is he one of the most yes. dragged on social media? I do dragged, though, because, bro, David will be going through it every other day, <laughs> my bro. No, I think Bonaboy is the most No. Right, I think Bonaboy gets dragged. Bonaboy. I thought the big three, I think. He's, he's the one. one. Are you sure? Yes. To be honest. Yeah, yeah I, would, I would say Most the of one. which is his own making. David, those drag is, is who's making? I mean, I think it's people hate him, Shabo. No. Uh, a lot of it is. Let's not. Let's not. I said most of it. Let's not. Let's not. So, so happy married life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the reason I was trying to say, oh my you are badly. I don't understand. I'm wishing Obi. What's the problem? Why are you wishing him happy married life right now? He's a journalist, please. It's okay. It's cool. Let's move on. But what I'm trying to make is he doesn't have allegiance like you. He's fine. Don't expose your allegiance. It's okay. Oh God, honey, let's not do that. What I'm trying to make is that. I see why sometimes he responds yeah, as aggressively yeah, yeah, yeah. as he does. Because they be dragging that guy. I think he also In this conversation of this process. I don't, so here's the thing. Maybe I just don't In see the it. conversation. Eh? Maybe I just don't see it. I Anytime don't there's the any, any social the conversation in Nigeria, they're always asking him why he's not there. Yeah, because you've sang yeah 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 yeah. And you sang uh, You use and you use and pop. I, I don't when I it comes out to the up to it, come out. You are the monsters you made. Where that was shouting your phone. Bro, that's, one, can't, that's, can't that's one of the worst songs ever made. As far as bro, fuck you, bro. That's a great song. Ha! Come on, bro. Go and read the lyrics again. That's a great Dennis song. Dennis Adipita. See now, Dennis, that's lyrics. a great song. Dennis, that's oh. a fantastic song. But, but I, I, I get what you're trying to I also disagree with Tolani's point where he says that uh, I don't like celebrities don't owe you. I don't think they don't. They don't. They no, it's the truth. Now. Don't like, yeah. Bro, guys, I'm not going for, I'm, there's two days oh of protest. I'm not going for anyone. I, I don't think that. I don't Have you gone for protest? This time around, no. But they're dragging a celebrity for not going for protest. Am I? Wait, first and foremost, first and foremost, when it comes to protest, every protest that's happened in this country. That I have been aware of, I have been there. Well, most of them. Shout first and success stories from a protest. First and foremost, I don't have any success story, but continue. Anyways, so the point I'm trying to make is that I feel that when it comes to artists, celebrities. You don't have a testimony from a protest? I don't. When it comes to celebrities Impressive. being asked to. <laughs> when it comes to celebrities being asked by their fans to take to the streets to protest, it's A, you can't tell me that it is wrong for fans to expect that of celebrities because. If you are, if people are buying your music, if people are a part of your success stories, it is. I feel like it is ridiculous. I feel like it is ridiculous for things to be affecting those people, and you are saying that they don't. It is wrong for them to expect you to speak on their behalf, especially when your voice carries some weight. Also, as a person, whether or not you are a celebrity, you should have some so, some level of social consciousness as no, an really. artist. Like, are you, I don't understand, are you just in the world to not be aware of what is going on around you? I'm Hell here yeah. I'm here to show See, the world. I don't know. Celebrities have just as much um, responsibility as you do. They, they have, no, they don't. They have extra responsibility. They don't. No, I don't agree. They really don't. They are regular they are human beings. They are not, for God's sake. They are human beings. I don't understand. Like they are not regular. Human beings. Melody, they are human beings. They are not regular Melody, human beings. Melody, listen. Great listen, power comes with responsibility. Melody, what are you something. saying? Let me tell you something. Just because. Dennis is a journalist and is is gotten a lot of acclaim from journalists from being a journalist is a, a is more popular than the average human being because of, because he's a journalist. Doesn't mean that he's not just a regular human being like the other person. The only difference between him and the other person, he's, he's the only difference is that his job puts a spotlight on him. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? His job. He didn't. He didn't go into the job because he wanted to be popular. He went into the job because he wanted a job. Because he wanted to do something he loved, not because he wanted to be a big person. The job is what gave him the popularity. People are not buying. The fans are not putting money in Dennis's pocket. You are literally the made by. Are literally putting money in. You Dennis's are literally pocket. made by your me, fans. If second. your fans stop listening to your music, not, you don't make any money again. Me, please. Journalism that's working in the office. You are, and you that's false equivalence. Me. Now, it's not false equivalence, and I'll break it down to you. Okay. A lot of his money is coming from traffic. A lot of it is coming from ads. 
a lot of it is coming from placements of sponsored posts on the platform that he works in if the work he did was not giving him the traffic and the numbers they don't have anything to show the clients that are paying the platform so that he's going to get paid you're comparing mm -hmm. that to somebody that fans mm -hmm. are buying your music you, you are, that I, carrying your, i think uh, you're also being strong-headed about this okay fine. Now, i won't argue the, about the that. thing is this. i don't agree but yeah if he if fans are the reason why artists are blowing up which i don't even think is material this conversation but if that's the situation dennis is getting paid because of the work that he does do you understand he's getting paid because people are actually consuming what he does that's why he's getting paid either it's on websites on social on tiktok on video whatever he's getting paid because of that now it's no different from an artist who's getting paid because of what they do because people are also consuming it and they are Either people are consciously playing for it or unconsciously paying for it. Everybody is still getting paid because of the activities of other people. Now, the difference is, it's just, it's music. Because I make music for you, it's a different thing to politics. I don't have to be politically aware. They don't have I don't to. need to. They don't need to. I don't need the to. The truth is, the truth is sometimes Regular it's even better to even shut up. The, if you don't to have be very honest, honest, if you don't have anything to add, I, if you don't have, if you I don't will have support that because a lot of artists make blatantly incorrect. Yes, you, are, you, are, you support that because they when don't support they do, what they don't you support. support. You no, yes. no, no, no. The only you support. time that I will support artists not making any comments is because a lot of times artists do not do enough research about social issues and they make blatantly incorrect. And they, a lot of people are not socially and, and, aware. And they don't have zero knowledge about or social issues. Or maybe they are socially aware and the other side of Or maybe they just don't want to put themselves in that conversation so that you are not going to drag them later. Why do you think a lot of, a lot of celebrities didn't support Peter B on the last election? And you said, like, I don't, I feel like. Do you think I a lot of them wouldn't have voted if they were in the country? Nah, they I feel would like, have. I feel like the but they can't the do ground. it. If it turns out to be a, a, a shit president, you are going to come for them first. Even as a human being, you should be socially aware. As a human being, yeah. little research on Google will help you know what you should say. Yeah, but at the end of Please. the day, at the end of at the end of the day, but nobody still don't have the, more responsibility. Millions of people than you have. I don't agree. They still but. don't have more responsibility than you have. It's calm. It's calm. I just feel like everybody that has the same every... amount of responsibility in this country. <laughs> they are citizens. They have a larger following. It would be yeah. nice if they did it contribute be, to poli exactly. political conversations. It would be nice. Social issues. It would be nice. But there is no reason to go at them for not contributing to social issues. That's go at point. them, I hear. There's, There's no, no reason to go at them. I There's, hear. That's what we've but been I, saying. I, I expect you to, to be socially aware. I don't need to be. I don't I, I expect you to choose to not do it. So are you saying that as your fans be going through shit, artists should not say anything? My guy, you, you are giving them shows. Now. That's the equivalent of you. You are yeah. showing up for them as shows. Showing up for who? You are coming to that's show. That's all they owe you. You are coming to show. Yes. Yeah. Is it free? Uh, uh, they am I not paying? Then. They owe you. They've paid. You've paid them. They've given you your They're collecting show. lesser money to come and to show in Nigeria. Lesser money. Omagba. They don't have to collect. That's why they Who don't cares? do the shows. Like, you know, wait, wait. You don't do shows in Nigeria. You don't appeal to your local audience. Who gives a damn? It's my business. Oh, that's why. Why are you people crying on social media? Who people? Then? Tani. Okay, let's move. On. Tano <laughs> cry. <laughs> Should I give you my hand? Do Tano yeah, cry? At the end of, Tano at the, end of the day. Tano what performance? Of, at the end of the day, it's not even about crying. the performance or anything. It's just no, no, no coming. <laughs> <laughs> cry what? Excuse it's just, you? It's just, it's just that. Why are you crying? It's oh, not me. Oh. They, they should not. Just that like, what they owe you? This is for my pocket. What, what they, they owe you? Is they what you. They, they don't owe me. They don't owe me performance. Okay, so that's what their pocket expectations are. Wait, 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 wait. I have a very much. I have a very They don't. They don't owe me. Are you going to criticize Beyonce for pussy? African album on Disney Plus. That is even. There is no time that Beyonce has been. Oh! There's no time that Beyonce, Beyonce has. Beyonce doesn't been, owe you anything. There's no time that Beyonce has been called out for something that I agree with that I have not said. Oh, she should have done this. I'm not a. I'm not. My brain is working. You can ask somebody and still criticize them for God's sake. Your point. Go to the point. I, I did say that. I actually did Bring say that. that. Receipt, I don't have to show you. I don't tweet everything I everything I feel. Okay. Where I did don't. I did have the question with my friends that I think that she should have done this. Even when she had the question about. Well, you're having this one. No, 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 no. But no, my point is. Possible. No, my point is even when they had the question about her. When she put her album, when she was promoting her album in one country, was it Pakistan? And I can't remember. And I was like, why was she doing that at the time? Ew. Shout out to Beyonce. So I'm like, why did she Shout do that? Like, these conversations can be had, but I will not say that as a, as a celebrity, you shouldn't be socially aware. No, I won't say that. That's but right. it's fine. But it's exactly, um, let's leave it. Shout out, to, shout out to everybody involved. Shout out to Bonaboy. Um, it's fine. Him and his family are okay. <laughs> but I think that Nigerian should actually easy on dragging him on for stuff, Sha. It's becoming ridiculous at this everybody point. Everybody needs to calm down. It's that. ridiculous. Um... So the WhatsApp conversation, you guys say is? Like I said, journalists, you people should. Journal, uh, do, do, Dennis, for one background. Why are you pressing your phone? I apologize for <laughs> our audience, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm actually even checking for that conversation. I'm actually but, I mean, even... wait, wait. I, as far as this conversation you're talking about, yeah. So, I mean, everybody defaults to the, the Nasimo thing, yeah. like, oh, I'm an artist that reflect the times, which I think Nigerians are doing. Think about it. Most young people, they worship money. <laughs> I'm not lying. Mm. This guy, carry on. Carry on to another realm. I'm not lying. Another realm. <laughs> I can't. But, but, do you think yeah. Nigerian artists would care if wealth was evenly distributed in this country? Uh, shouldn't they? They wouldn't. Shouldn't they? They wouldn't, is the point. <laughs> mm. <laughs> because they can afford basic. Let me tell you what someone told me last week on Saturday. Shout out to my, shout out to my OG. I don't want to mention his name. I went to see him and his friends. Um, at the house, they play football every Saturday morning. And on our ride to go and eat one badass goat meat pepper soup, my guy, that's the greatest goat meat pepper soup that I've had. And rice. They were telling me that part of the reason why Nigerians, mm, like Nigerians, was a good job fish after this thing. But let's go. Nigerians are not. Nigerians are not suffering enough. I argued, bro. But when I got home, I started thinking about it, and I got it. I got what they were saying. The person said, look at Kenya and look at what other countries are doing. They are literally dethroning presidents. Why can't the person come out and, and join us in the protest? They can't, the person joins. Okay. They can't, they can't do too much. Do you understand? But um, I mean, is, what the person was saying was, what the person was saying was, part of the reasons why a lot of Nigerians are not on the streets is because this thing is not touching everybody. Nigerians always find a way to survive. Do you understand? Like when Nigerians have, when a lot of people have not eaten for three days, then we're going to start seeing shit. I didn't agree with it because I felt like emotion. I was I was making emotional arguments because I felt like oh no, you are being insensitive. I was in a car. I was sitting in the driver's um in this right behind the shotgun seat, and I was really arguing with my emotions. I argue, you know, how I argue. I argued all the way to the point till I started eating my goat milk pepper soup. My body calmed down. <laughs> anyway, the point is, I want to answer that. Let's go. Right, so here's what I think. I think one as Nigerians, one of our greatest strengths is also our greatest weaknesses. I agree. Politically. Not politically. I'm saying generally as, you're as human beings is our ambition. Right? We are really ambitious people. Yeah. Ambition also now makes us very, very resilient. Right? Um and our resilience eventually bring, breeds what we have, right? So let's not because we don't down. care about any other thing other than ourselves. Exactly, because which is why they can weaponize the police against people. One hundred percent against us because only you were this smart. I smart die. <laughs> I sat. Whoa, even, 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 even what that person is saying about Nigeria. yeah, because at the end of the day, you look at it right, um, Kenya. Um, Ruto wanted to seek the police against yeah. the The police said work. no. Exactly. Yeah. The police didn't say no. It was the, um, it was the military. Sorry, the, the military. military said no. The military said no. I said... <laughs> but Nigerians want, want ambition. They would have said yes. How many... No, no, no. But I'm saying the that police can they, can are the same the ambition because they know what they will get if they... If they say yes. If they say yes. It's ambition. That's what I'm saying. So our greatest problem as people is our ambition because... And it's also our greatest strength because when we leave the country or we go outside, it's, we survive. it's ambition. It's, no it's, it's, that ambition also now because it you, drives you. You also now look at it where I think what, what the best way to say it is when you play the game on hard, when you now go somewhere that you're playing the game on easy, is insane how what you can do. What you can achieve. Or you now maybe because you you are playing the game on hard where obviously the thing is hard. You so now you you've developed cheat codes. When you now go where they are playing the game on easy. The moment you put those cheat codes in, yeah. Oh, 44. They're gone. Okay. You know? Then so that's the good part. The bad part is that that ambition, it's we are trying to. The, the inherent Nigerian wants to outsmart the next guy. Facts. Yep. Shine your eye came from us having to realize that we need to watch make each sure other. That you are not outsmarted by the next guy. Yeah. In, in, climbs when, in climbs when they don't need to shine their eye and they, everything is... Nobody's nobody okay. shining eyes. Nobody, everybody is just Fine. moving. I have a theory. Yeah. Go, have it, go I on. have a theory. It's a trauma response. I agree. No, 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 facts. That's it's trauma response. Saying, and I get what you guys are saying. So I think a lot of what's happening right now, as far as even ambition, 
police and everything was handed down to us. So the way the British people ruled us, they just handed it over to the political elites. This one just took and kept, kept running. Now, um, I always forget Eva Valley. This happened like years ago. Anybody you can Google it. In fact, Eva, Eva Valley massacre. Um, mine workers were protesting and they just sent police and said, This were Nigerian, like Nigerian indigenous, and British men just told them, Why and kill these people? Like they are disturbing us. Like this mine is bringing us a lot of money and they are protesting because they want better conditions. And they shot them. There's a direct line between that and what happened at Lekki Gate. Facts. Yes, but then. No, no, no I'm we just are saying. So, no, that we're, we're not the only people, but the thing is, like, Trauma is fight or flight. Facts. The Part moment something the happens, like it's fight or flight. It's get to a point you are flighting, 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 flighting. You have to stay now there it's time to fight. Yeah. So but to, to by the time anything happens you know again, bro, this 2020 we're talking about, like you watch any documentary about Nigeria from the 90s and how they was it's literally the same thing. protesting for years. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly why the it took a, it took years before people can say okay we want to fight. Now they've shot people. The, that this protest, I think it's it's my still game moments. I think it will still game momentum. This protest. My, yes, I think it's still game moments. I, I think it might take. So. I don't think so. I think it might take under one or two days, but something's going to happen. I hear you actually. Very possible. Something's going to happen. I think I changed. My now it might not. It might not. It might. It might game momentum in a different. It might not be like okay people come out in two days and like they wrap it up. Yeah, fine. But it's just building up for the next thing. Because honestly, like you guys have said, what, what has changed in the last four years? Bro, everybody Nothing. keeps adapting, adapting, adapting. It's because you are fighting that thing. It's a trauma response. Like, there's a, there's a direct line between every. That's why I get to shine your eyes. You're trying to outsmart this person, outsmart that person. That's why I keep saying it that common sense as a police person. Like, if you're a policeman, you just be like, oh, common sense is that, oh, I should, be a, I should not kill people because they are protesting their rights. Mm-hmm. I mentioned Venezuela, um, police officers taking off their. Uniform, uniform. I'd be like, oh, we're not shooting I'm not anybody. Here to, yeah. Yeah. Do you understand? It should be the same for Nigeria. But I like, don't understand. But it's like, just handed down. Like it's like it's like <sighs> as if it's written, like there's this whole thing of like, oh, there are people that there are black people, and they take like you can still feel the trauma of like you answer that way sleeves. <laughs> and honestly, like you read those things, you're like, oh, they are bullshitting. And the more you read, the more you're like, I actually get it. It's so that's why I feel like that's why I always tell Buddha, if you want to be a policeman, be a policeman. But it just feels like you meant to wear dark clothes. In Nigeria. The moment you wear dark clothes, you are a changed person. Because whenever, like how we mentioned in Kenya, the army refusing to like go and attack people, that was such a profound thing that made that protest successful. Yeah. Like made them continue to protest. But here in Nigeria, the fact that people are even outside and they don't feel like if the police were asked to come do something or to come take people out of the protest ground, they won't come and do it. Just so is like, what are you doing? If we had a system where everybody joined, even the person that is sitting down with you and telling you that Nigerians are not hungry enough, I feel that it's really elitist and it's fine. It's a, that's how people are that do not have certain experiences say things. There are people that have not eaten for three days. There are people in this Nigeria that are extremely hungry. There are people that are going through the worst situation. But the fact that you're not experiencing it don't mean people are not hungry enough. People are extremely hungry, like dead ass hungry in Nigeria right now. I just feel like because lots of lots of people, the, the elites are just standing there crossing their leg. I don't even think that, I don't, Saying, I don't uh-uh. think people are the elites. Hey, leg, whatever they, all those people, hey love votes, hey love protests now. Hey, they love sit and love protest. To be basic my and my love protest. You that you are crossing your legs in your house and telling people to go and protest. Why are you not joining the protest? How do you know that they are not? I'm just speaking generally. You they are asking people that they're not hungry enough. Why are you not on the streets protesting? You should be outside your house to also protesting. Protesting is not just one person. It's not just a one person should protest or people that are hungry enough. Everybody should see the need to protest because the situation of the country is affecting everybody. So. And sorry, and that's one thing that, don't, that we don't have in Nigeria. Everybody coming together, even the police, even the army, even the people that came to meet people at the protest ground. Because at the protest everybody ground. optimizes for whatever benefits. I agree. Them. And that's it. Oh, you finally agree. On this protest issue, yes, I agree. <laughs> okay. On this one. Um, but you know, you know, we the, the, almost the, the, used Melo- the entire episode to talk about protest. I agree. <laughs> Melody is, is talking from a, a lot of times, talking from a very, very moral slash upright standpoint. My talent is telling you, like, the reality. What the show, it's what not, no, 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 just, just reality. The philosophy of it to an extent, like, oh, like, because you are saying, like, me, I can tell you that thing is green there now. It is green, but like mm-hmm. there are other colors that make up green. And I'm yeah. not telling you that. If I flash that, light on it, it's like yeah. green. Exactly. Yeah, there's yellow. There's something else. Like I there agree. are different things there. So like I like like you said now, some people are still in flight mode. 
Yeah. Yep. And many people are in fight mode. It's not that they don't want to fight, but they don't have it. Like, <laughs> imagine having to drag this thing out of you. And again, like, okay, fine. During the during the SS protest, it felt like at a point like the entire country just ground to a halt. Every, every right now, that's like that right now for close to a month. Yes, now, but right now, like she is me now. I'm still battling KPI. <laughs> no, it's true now. I'm battling Bro. KPI. Bro, you're battling this. You're battling that. Bro. So it's in between, like oh, if you want to go and protest, you go like and you come back and start work. Bro. You understand? Now I'm not saying I'm not saying that your work supersedes. The your protest. protest. Your, your but right you still to protest. Have well, you, but you have responsibility. Yeah. And again, like, you're scarred from, like, stop, stop that happened. Like, I know someone that will tell you that, um, uh, I can't oh, protest to, yeah. like, first time I went to protest, and that was the day that they said thugs up, up, upon us. Oh, and that's fair. That's fair. And, like, I can't blame her. I like, one, 100. Like, 100. No, I'm not saying that, I'm not asking It's right or, or wrong. Yes. But the possibility that she, she has said that, ah, so I'm even tired again. I want to protest again. It might get there. It might yep. not get there. Yes, and that's but like fine. I said, it's, it's fight it's or valid. flight. It's valid both. It's very valid. That's why. That's why. Like. That's why I'm going to come back to that conversation about celebrities, bro. Like, if you're a celebrity, if you're looking at her, like, where's my money coming from? First of all, like, let's not lie. Let's not lie. Let's we not know lie. The truth. Let's not lie. Where's your money coming from? Fast. Sure. Optimizing like, for I mean, what benefits you personally. Your so you, that silence. Wow. Your silence. Like I can be a singer that is popping, and I was a Peter. I'm not. I'm not saying shit, bro. Facts. Yeah. I'm not saying shit. Now, I don't have to. I'm not saying personally. I won't say shit. I've not been in that position. Yeah. You understand? But, that but like, understand. I can understand. I will understand any assist that does that. That's why I can say, oh, the assist does not owe you more than the only problem I have is if you believe, if you behave like you're about that life, or you say something about, about it. About it, yeah. Like don't. And you that, benefit from that. Exactly, like, bro, like I don't see. It's like if whiskey comes out now and says, "Oh, I'm protesting or whatever," I'll clap for him. Like, oh, I didn't see that coming. Like, but he's it, proving to be smarter and more aware than homeboy. Exactly, because so, he did. He doesn't make music about it. I know. But when it, when to, it came time for yes, it, now, it came out on the first day. You that you are talking about it religiously, you've benefited from it, band brand wise, awards, and all of this shit. When it came time, you were nowhere to be and found. And I also remember that I watched the New York Times article that came out. Yeah. That this guy wrote about Bruna Boy. Like, the entire thing was... Political. Oh, social is, political. Bro, they called um, this song, with Latin. They called it a political... A political, yeah. Bro! What are you talking about? Oh. And they didn't correct them. Yeah. They called it a political statement. How did that sound? That was 2020, I but remember. But also, yes, those no, international no. writers should also do some research and speak uh, No, it's not that. No, 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 let's not go into that See, let me tell you, they can correct it. They can. No. But, but they should also, see, also do. They should also okay, do some research. Okay, let me show you something. Melody, yeah, let you me tell you. To I'm, not going to mention, I'm, not, I'm not going to mention names. This is to Last year, I got denied for two interviews. They didn't want a Nigerian writer. They didn't want a Nigerian writer to interview them. Two artists. Nigerian artists. Yes. They didn't want the Nigerian writer to interview them for an international publication. Yes. You see, Oibo. Bro, wow. I've written cover stories now. Wow, wow, he wow. He has written everything up and down. Everybody wow. has written, like, I can, I have guys that I can mention are, like, really great writers. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, why not? Like, they, they said, like, I was copying emails. You saw and it? And I was, I saw it, now the PR press was asking, they were like, okay, are you comfortable with that? They brought that name. Sorry, at this point, we're not talking to local press. Bro, you're talking to a, an international publication that wants in Nigeria. Like, I, I, I didn't pitch it. They actually reached out to me and be like, oh, do you want to interview this person? We have this person. It was a commission. Like, I didn't pitch it. I'd be like, oh, I'm reaching out to the PR person. Wow. And you know the crazy part? That's why I, I'm not even mad at now, like, when younger writers tell me that, oh, I don't want to talk to them. I want to talk to them. Because the truth is, after they've talked to you now, next year, I've literally interviewed somebody, and the next year, and the person's like, yeah, they don't want to do native. And that was when I was a native. Like, wow. <laughs> That's why they have too big for native. Wow. Yeah, please. <laughs> why are you saying please? Why? Literally what she was walking. So that's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm like, if you're if you're like I, I don't think any artist is like as far as like owing anybody anything. And like, honestly, the reason that paid me was oh this money would have been important. Like yeah, the money, the money would have been uh-uh, but, that, but like the they don't owe it to me, like that's what to do. Do Shout it, have fun. You. My problem with them is this. That's wild. You can't alienate local media and expect and expect certain privileges. Explain the privileges. For better or worse, proximity and relatability cause you a lot of points. Yes. Which is part of why I don't understand why Tyler didn't answer that question on the breakfast. <laughs> that's, that's not her fault, but... Which, 
I'm just saying why I don't understand why her someone is telling her that they did it. Yes, Do you understand? Yes. Part of why I don't understand. I don't understand it, so. Right? I think a, a, a part of it is her controlling the narrative properly. Then and you should have media trained her to be able to answer. That's just to be able to answer any question. That's just uh, it. That's just may, it. See, here's the thing. I'm just not talking. I'm not talking from a journalist. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. I'm speaking from like a label. the artist label. wants to preserve, not preserve, to be able to put be this ready that, for when they are ready to address. Not them. even put, just put this out in a very very curated way that everybody understands it and is not taken out. My of problem the is you can't run away from it. But, but I mean, she didn't but eventually that's, run that's out. That's what labels it. do. Curating artists that be, make them very unrelatable. And, and you'll be asking inorganic. why you don't have organic no. fans. No, People no. People keep curating, that, curating. That one, is she, she a dog, baby? Curate People will be curating. So Lolu is not lying. Lolu is not lying. I understand, but it's affecting what, artists. That's that thing. That thing. That it's thing. affecting artists. Lolu, you are not lying. You are very right. Curating, curating. A lot of times, it works. Right? It works because you can actually sell a narrative. But you know the best parts, types of narratives that work? Organic things. No, 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 facts. I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not saying sell a narrative. I'm saying Curate. take it out of context. I hear you. She doesn't okay. want but it to be if they are what trained. she says to be taken out of context. If she had gone to that interview and said something, the something reason, vague, it probably would have taken, would be taken out of context. The reason why she would have said something like that was because she was not media trained before time. And just she was say what prepared. it is and say the you right way. Understand? Like, just All say what your story is. All anybody needed to do is... Anything related to relatability, you answer the right questions and you move on. That's all. You understand? Like, you can't outrun that question. It's about your identity. And part of the problem, I agree with you, is that American music capitalism doesn't really understand the complexities of African identities. Educate them yet. or tell them. You understand? They don't get it yet. I don't blame them, right? But the problem is, you can't then make an artist that is a crossover artist be able to run away. It's like making when Justin was crossing over. You are trying to make him run away from his parents' divorce. Are you playing? It's not like even mm. divorce is even a different thing. No, no, so I'm just saying. Like no, no, no. Identity. It's a core part of his identity. He grew up with a single mother. <sighs> no, it's a core part of his identity. Like, like, but this one is even more fundamental even because race, the color of your the skin. The color of your skin is. It's, it's, your it's, it's your face. It's your structure. It's structure of your nose. And guess what? The moment people now know that you don't answer that question, I promise you, they'll bring it they'll back. Start, now you are, you are begging more questions. They will bring it back. I'm sure she'll be able to answer uh, it more now. Th- yes. So back to the conversation that we're talking about, which is what again? So we're saying that... Thank God. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't want to call this because yeah. it's a three, deep question. I got review trade secrets. Yeah, Please yeah. continue. <laughs> trade secrets. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, we don't respond in any way. I can't remember. What was what I talking about? We're talking about... Um, what were we talking about now? Oh, God, Talani. We're talking about, like, artists and owing people and stuff. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, artists and owing people? Not owing people, like, not, like, not no, wanting to work. Like, yeah, yeah, so it gives you a degree of relatability. Do you understand? And part of the problem of Nigerian artists... Not wanting to work with local press. Yeah, yeah, Is when the... I'm going to... It's, it's always funny because why always him, right? Point a boy, right? He has a... You can tell that there's a grass to pick with Nigerian media with him. Oh, yeah, that, that's the one, yeah. Jonathan, and I don't understand it because Nigerian media has never unfairly criticized you. You have always criticized for what, been criticized for what you did. Do you understand? But you have been criticized a lot. Though. Yeah, but well, you've been criticized for what you did. When the crazy part, like, I don't think <laughs> it's I've not like you did. It's not like they criticized you for anything you didn't do. You did them. You did all, anything Nigerian music, Nigerian media criticized him for. Even what he was talking about, everything. Melody, what he was talking about on Thank You, I, I, I broke the exclusive stories. Are you playing? Me. It's on pause. I have a video. It's on pause. Go and check it on pause. I broke the exclusive stories. Me. So what are you trying to say? What I'm saying is, every time you have done what you are saying, or they said, you... You... I don't even understand what you're what saying. Niger- My problem is, every time Nigerian media has criticized you heavily for anything, okay. it's not something you didn't do. Hmm. Do you understand? Hmm. So you're not having a problem with Nigerian media for criticizing you for something you did. It's insane. Do you understand? So a lot of them, another reason why they hate Nigerian media is because you know them inside out. Yeah, I said it too. That's the, that's final you know them inside out. Foreign media does not. That's why that one that was interviewing Whiskey was saying it to two. Will you shut the fuck up, nigga? What's it to two? I don't go and read the interview. Shout out to 
the best Bonaboy interview I've read Genius. on foreign media was the one that was written by. <laughs> it is what one are you doing? <laughs> He knows what I'm talking about. He's the cleaning of mouth. The best Nigerian interview of Bonaboy that I've written was written by Dewo Drew. That's the only one I read. By far. That's the only that's the only one. The best Bonaboy interview that has substance. I I'll, I'll, I'll think it's I'll think it for that. Rema has been in the game for four years now, right? Mm-hmm. Five. The Five. best Rema profile till today is one that Debola wrote in 2019. Guys, but I, I, I genuinely, my own is, I, re, I find it, you saying that, you know, artists are saying when they want to do like, um, interview, like, oh, I don't want to speak to anybody, a local person, get me somebody that's not local. Nobody can tell your story better than the people that know you. But they want to sell a narrative melody. Because I do, have to sell a I'm, narrative. Do you know that now? Meaning me that I don't mention one of Don't mention, don't mention, don't mention. If I mention, you will be looking mention. at me like I'm crazy because don't, don't mention. Okay, don't mention, sorry. Don't mention. You, 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 you know why? Because I would even think that if. Do you know, <laughs> exactly. do you know, do you know how exactly. I would. Do you know how I would assume this conversation would have gone? Is an international platform we want to write about a Nigerian artist that they would give a Nigerian artist they would you know link them up with like a foreign writer and be like oh this person is not a Nigerian he lives in Canada or whatever let him write about you and the Nigerian artist would say no please get me someone from Nigeria to write about me because only them can tell the story Facts. that is what I would expect a Nigerian artist to do like or get somebody to fact check or get a co-writer or whatever or get somebody else to, to help edit you whatever. Ed or edit the story I'm not surprised that you would rather they didn't write the story yeah. Why? Because whenever I read some of those articles, I'm like, what are you saying? They're very bland. What do you mean by she's the f- And there's always, you're the first, you're the first, you're the first what? Can you shut the fuck up? Because that's what they want to read. What do you that's mean, you're what, the first? So, another problem is, and that's why a lot of, with all due respect, actually, I don't give a fuck. That's why a lot of your stories are not selling in the foreign markets. Because they read like the same thing. They read like propaganda pieces. Like? I'm sorry. Do you, you, know, shaku, shaku. Shaku. you know, I told you something, I told you something that, <laughs> It's get to a point where you are I think I think I think there were there were several like I'm not gonna speak but like there was a time 2019 2019 2020 2021 yeah it was a time when like, it was terrible it was very bad no it was bad in terms of like access and stuff yeah but at the very least it was there was critiquing there was profiling yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. now it now got to a point. Where it's like, oh, pure PR. Ben niggas is just, it's just PR, bro. I know the crazy part. So, like, some people will hit me up and be like, that was last year, like, mostly last year. Like, I offended somebody and I was like, your house this album is trash. And I'm not going to interview them. And you, why I did that was because I was really pissed. Like, you know for a fact that, like, you, you know when your artist music is not good. And you send it to me and you keep pressuring and I'm like, I, and I'm ghosting you. You know the one that pissed me off? They sub- they tell you to come and listen to the album after it's been submitted. Oh God, well, you, you know you, you used to give people you know me me why I make it let it be rubbish let me it listen to you like but you, you have to correct it what concerns me because you are writing this review you'll be telling you how to correct your next album keep doing it <laughs> me I, 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 I my red by Raoul did like this for you <laughs> <laughs> okay, I whisper. Is, continue. <laughs> and to be honest, they don't, they don't, they don't even appreciate the feedback because even when like, I think they want to correct, they say, how that, dare you? That's exactly why. That's exactly why. It's anyway, not that it's not I've, I've never gotten time. bad reviews from any of these two writers, by the way. No, 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 no. As an A&R, none of my artists have gotten <laughs> bad reviews. You guys, uh, Twitter people drag him when you say that A&R. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's not like what he's doing is futile. Yeah. But the truth is, the guys that actually read and know like, okay, you actually listen. Like, there was an artist that actually like, he invited me for his show and everything was really good. He's a star. I don't call him a superstar, but he's a star. Yeah. And like he was telling me about her like the first time he read something that I wrote about him in 2018 and he really appreciated it and we talked and it was like that was the first time he actually sat down to read and realized that this person is actually critiquing my stuff. Not because, because he hates not me. Even, he didn't even measure it. Because the person sat down to listen, listen. to what I made. That's context. That means you took your time to listen. It's list, you are, so a lot of people a lot of people just hear music. They don't listen. Yeah. I hear you. Facts. Do you understand? Now, I'm not saying that. No, no, you are not wrong. I'm not saying it's that music, my. Op- I'm not saying, my, I'm not saying my opinion is the authority. It yes. is. It is. It is no, I'm not. I'm not saying. No, I'm not saying my. It's not. I'm not saying my opinion is authority. Is. But at the very agree. least, you're supposed to actually put more stock in the person that sits down to listen, yeah. listen and write. You know how hard writing is. And the thing is, yeah, it is. The thing is, when you are writing, we know when you are bullshitting. Yeah. Yeah. And when you are reading it, you know that the person is bullshitting. 
Your opinion is not the authority, but the representation of the majority. Mm. Not, not even not majority. majority. People have a majority. Have to be majority. It's the representative of, of the of fact a that critical listening. Of, of you listened. Yeah. Mm. I know the crazy part. You can change that opinion in ten years' time, but yes. at the very least, at that point, at that as of, moment, as of that's how I feel. at that moment you listen. You listen. So all that thing of like, oh, artists don't want to work with this, or they don't want to interview. So they funny. don't want this, all that. Shout out to you now. Everybody's, you everybody's crossing over. Honestly, I hope it never stops. Which one? What? Like crossing over. I, I hope said it never most of the time is because your people are badly behaved. No, what do you mean by crossing over? I'm, I'm retired. And you pull you. <laughs> what do you mean by crossing over? Like, no, crossing like everybody is. You're yeah, touring. Like, you drop an album. You, 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 like, like, immediately you drop an album today. Everybody, you just. Did you guys see that boxer conversation? Before we go to the boxer conversation, please, what do you. I heard you people were happy in your music kingdom that they released Vibes Cartel. What? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, good luck to I don't know anybody. First that of all, was. your <laughs> good luck to them. Your music. No, but <laughs> good luck that to them. Was sarcastic, but <laughs> I saw the I saw people talking about him coming out, and I saw people. I saying, saw that. And I saw people. I saying, saw it, but like good luck. I saw to people them. saying stuff like he really like you should be grateful for what he did for Afrobeat. You cannot deny the talent. Ah, what did he do for Afrobeat? No, no, as far as like dance or the relationship between dance and Afrobeat, Afrobeat is very, very, very and I very very tight. Okay, it's very very tight, so I understand that part. But like you, happy to like for him to, happy for him to be released. Do, this, do people even know what Homeboy did? I don't think. How <laughs> <don't think laughs> many people know mm. what he did? I don't think. But also, is is I don't think he. You should go and research. You should go and Google. Please, so, can we can we change this topic? What <laughs> before, before somebody implicates himself? No, 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 no. no. What I'm just okay. saying. No, what I'm saying is I don't know that. Was he? He was. He was found guilty, but he's also been a defendant, and he's still been. Um, what's the word? Like he's still been trying to defend himself, saying that he did not actually do it. Yeah, he's been a defender for a while. But but I think part of what he was I th- found guilty because that's why I was in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th- I think he was acquitted and it's been released because I don't think it's a, it's an evidence thing or a, a no. I don't think it was an evidence thing. thing. It was a it was more of a a flaw in the case thing. That was why he was able to get off. Um, this is how we should have done our research. But yeah. No, no, I did my research, but I, I just don't want to be there. No, I, I did some research. I'm, I'm, not that, research. I'm, not that into, I'm not that into the story. Yeah, yeah. No. The story is insane because the reason why it was, in, it was on trial in the first place was that someone was murdered and the body was chopped. Yeah, the body was chopped, body. man. So... <laughs> Just know who you're supposed to be. <laughs> just it's not, and, and understand not why he got freed. <laughs> That's very important. No, it's good. They also <laughs> said he got freed because he was he was really sick in jail. Apparently, he had thyroidism or some shit. I po. I have a prior Yeah, I think it's IPO. Uh, so, so, but I think I don't think I read that's it was, was about really misconduct. Released. Yeah, misconduct. Jury misconduct. Yeah, I jury. Think. Um, so there was a jury misconduct so, yeah. in yeah. the original trial. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, and yeah. because of that, the original ca- the, all, whatever the, the, the root of the case is flawed. It's just like the beginning has been flawed. <sighs> Let me show you people that I went to law school. Eh, 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 eh. Leonard Silk hey. wants to talk. Hey. <laughs> hey. You practice all of what? <laughs> one year. <laughs> one year. Odoko. <laughs> it's trying, so, I try. You can bring on certain things for the first time, even on appeal. Yeah. So, our friend said there was a bribery attempt. Uh, uh, sh- sh- show on the lawyer. It's been appealing to <laughs> appealing. Call me the law. <laughs> <laughs> it's been appealing so, to. so his conviction was squashed yeah. due to bribery attempts by one of the original jurors and, and um was free, and he was freed from prison after thirteen years because of that. Yeah, that was why. So And a lot of things can be brought even for the first time on appeals, things like jurisdiction and stuff like this. So oh, you can oh, lawyer. Uh-uh. Oh, well, oh, law school, yeah, yeah. Law. The law. Oh, yeah, law the law. Gang, gang. <laughs> so, um, did you guys see the boxer situation? That one, I'm even Boy, ca- I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm then, Dennis, the, I, I know you have a lot of opinion on it. Me? Yeah. Opinion. I mm-hmm. went down the rabbit hole. I was just like, shout out to, shout out to everybody. And I hope Jake Rowling is fine. <laughs> Who is that now? Jake Rowling. Okay. Because oh, I, I mean, so I saw it tweet. Somebody said we should have known that like that woman is something for you to be able to create the word mud blood. <laughs> Like that means that like like your head must be really twisted. Like like that's that's a bro. That slow is crazy. That is actually wild. Bro, that's a wild ass slow. But guys, let, let's let's not act like Jacob Willing has not be getting a lot of um unfair 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 drugs. Why not? Like pro. bro, you don't understand. Mm-hmm. For you to for you to amplify something real quick, you found out you are not driving, Abby. No, <laughs> no a bad job. You found out that this thing is all true. 
or like you, you got information wrong, then you now go and start looking for sources that validate what you initially said. And you are retweeting it and you are commenting. Not comments, but you're just retweeting that, but like, you are not moving me. Do you know that there are still some people till today, till this minute, that share the same opinion as J.K. Rowling and they've been able to back it up in different ways? So here's the thing, right? So what, what they all know is that she has XY chromosomes. Exactly. Which, which, to be fair, is. I, I think if is honestly, this thing, this thing, this thing is not. This thing, let me it's tell not, you, it's, it's, it's not, not, black, not deep. It's black and white. You know, it's not, it's not black and white, it's but it's also not deep. White. Somebody has she has fought fourteen times. She has lost. She has lost five. Like women actually bitter. Nine times. Do you know how crazy it is that you are going to a boxing? Oh, that's this that's thing. the case. Yeah. They've won, you know she has lost like nine times. Is it five or nine times? Nine yeah, she has lost five. She has won nine. Do you know how crazy mm-hmm. that you are going to the Olympics for boxing and are crying that they hit you? Oh my, share your pony. Oh, eh, Tolani, 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 Tolani. No, that's, 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 that's okay. Only that's okay. Only on the moon, Danny. You want to say, what a lion go? What a resting cake? But this one, not, but imagine say you go five for years. Where you believe? Where you believe? So she has lost nine times, not five. She has lost nine times. Oh wow! She has not lost five. nine times, and you're coming out to cry. See, this is not. It's not okay, hard. This is. Yes, a white yes, woman just yes. crying. No, That's, no, no guy. It's a white woman crying. Me, I think I, I, I don't, I don't want to dwell on the babe that lost. Right? Yeah. It's the babe that people are coming for that. Dunking on. That is the issue for me because, like you say, you see X Y chromosome, right? It's not black or white, right? And it's also been proven that she was not transgender, mm-hmm. right? She's not transgender. Which I think is what a lot of people thought it was. Yeah, exactly. she's not transgender. Because yes. if it was transgender, black, that one is more black and white. Yeah, it's she's not, not transgender, fair, yeah. Right? But wait. I know. I'm not sure it's normal. But <laughs> in, like the, in like the full scale of it, it's like this auntie is a woman, right? She was she raised as a girl. She, she was socially she, raised as a woman. She's, and she has a do they know lady what, business. How do you know that? You did you look at it? If she if she didn't, she wouldn't have been allowed in the competition. Did they check? I'm sure they would have. They checked so they, they would they have are, checked, yes now. Check yeah, yes, no, I'll come on, they check. So here's the thing, right? Are you guys sure? Because after she came back with XY chromosome, are you playing? Would yes, have she has she has heightened levels of testosterone. Yes, she does. Testosterone yes. in her yeah. body. So yeah. like obviously it's, it's it's not black or white. You can't outrightly say this thing is unfair. Because by the books, this auntie is a, is a girl, right? But by the how does she? Um, by the core cor- of life, she's there's, not. There's male, there's male. Oh, could you did you understand? It has vibes, and she can't go bulk up. Obviously, she go, she go <laughs> deck you. Oh, love it. Yeah, let's no, but I also feel like I feel like bo- I feel like both parties have a point. Sorry, yeah. I'm, I'm so that's what I think. I feel I, that I girl that was beaten has a right to feel the way she feels. She does. Can I have it? Can I melody? Say they yeah. say you should the go only, and fight. The only way you melody will not judge her. Oh, I did it. Oh, I put him blue. Oh, I made him The only way, the only way is, is for to them make are, this thing fair is they should not put it in a thing. They should not say. Female gender intersex. Let me say something. Male. Let, me, let, me, let, me, let me say something. Right? Let me, let me yes. pause, but. But she's not intersex. She's, a, she's actually a woman. Sorry, she's intersex. No, she's, 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 intersex. she's intersex. Because obviously she has like the XY chromosome. Right? Tell her to go on. I should go. Thank you, my fellow debaters. <laughs> so, part of the problem of social media is misinformation. Yeah. And misinformation doesn't necessarily mean total misinformation. It's misinformation is mis- misinformation because it aligns with someone's agenda and bias. Mm-hmm. That was where J.K. Rowling was <laughs> at fault. Okay, J.K. Rowling. In my she, opinion, she called her transgender. Or she called her male. She called her transgender. I think J.K. Rowling. Just as a man. Because, said man. So sometimes when you are, you are. I think J.K. Rowling's um, agenda started off as protecting women. Exactly. But now it's gotten to agenda. I don't think it's agenda. In my opinion. Right? Really like, because it's not intentional. It's not this agenda. No, no. Uh-huh. Now it's an agenda, my chance. No, man, no, no. <laughs> now, the point is. That's my. Now, what is it? Um, <laughs> Yag, bike, bike. <laughs> Yag, <laughs> you. I'm on that level. You understand? So, she. And I believe. And I believe the, the more you get criticized for having an agenda, the, the more hardened you get. Mm. That's your fair part, right? So I feel like that's the fault of J.K. Rowling and people like J.K. Rowling. So the moment people heard that someone was hitting someone like a man, people automatically... A lot of rightist people are in this world. And let's be honest, leftists be bullshitting. 
Do you understand? Like wanting to put a someone that was a man in a female context, a co- female context. So the moment, and then you have to understand that the Olympics had a bad rep from the start, where someone was saying they were doing Last Supper mm. and so on, so, on. so a lot of conservative people were already on guard. Yeah, yes, so the moment they heard that, oh my God, no, go to war. Do you understand? So that was where it was. Now that's the first part. The second part is this babe was raised as a girl. Yes. Let's be honest. She was raised as a woman. She was raised as a girl. As a woman. Not even just raised as a girl. She was born she as she has a vagina. Or she, she has DST. It's she called ha- DST. Yeah, she has DST, yes. Do you understand? She was born She's as intersex. A girl. If she was raised somewhere else, she was raised in Algeria. Yeah. Bro, Algeria. So fucking conservative. But there are still a lot of intersex people that were still raised as girls. That's what I was yes, no. But you don't understand. See, let me tell you. As much as like we can like I, there's a lot of gray area or whatever, but my own is just Please, if they beat you, just go sleep. Any crazy parts? Like I saw uh, some on YouTube. Oh, like share funny. Then they show the analysis. Share. I'm not even going to be a funny. What a crazy idea! My flesh. Oh, somebody did a small <laughs> analysis on YouTube about like the force that you have. How are you a fighter and you are not protecting? No. I imagine but, somebody is swinging at you. Yeah. You know you're on defense. But, but but you guys are like you're not protecting your no, face. But you guys are kind of blue. No, but uh, like, you just like say you're on defense. My God, dares you. <laughs> even if now, even if like this, you're almost guard now. Are you go guard now? It's not about guarding. That boom, um, that she, blue, that gen- blue. No, genetically, yeah, she has the strength of a man. Yeah, strat- strat- Melody, blue. Genetic- Melody. So, so what you are saying is Kony's key. Money, bola. My God, that punch. Melody, not, that not punch. Was not, let me let me tell you. What are we back for? What are we back for? That you're punching her when she won five. Forty something seconds. Melody, I want to ask you a question. Answer a question. She kn- answer a question. I think that be bad. That's bad. That's bad. If they tell you that, and it's about Obaja, he was in Noni nine times. Oh no! Eh? Will you come and start crying? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, uh, Who will be fighting the first place? Uh, so, no, 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 no. no she no. has lost nine times. You don't understand. This person nine out of thirteen. Fight. You person is going to fight nine out of thirteen. They have, they've beaten her nine times out mm-hmm. of fourteen fights. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you are going to fight. Not, the person now beat you. Please, why? Why are you crying? You will be crying because you feel ashamed. So, so, so you are saying that. Yeah, you... exactly. Now, why are you crying to come and ask that I so, sound like a man that beats you? So, That's an excuse. I'm creating an excuse. So, can I? Let me just finish my. Wait, point. the crazy part. Yeah. This woman, this swimming icon, uh, Ledeki. Yeah. Like from this, from um, the boxing thing, people started saying, ah, this woman, she might be a man because that's a physique. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, I know the crazy I think, part. Like people I, just think that woman, so, women are supposed to look. Let, let me just Sorry, let, just let, let me finish. Let me finish. What, okay. Just two seconds. I think you are also just painting a white or black picture. Yes, I agree. In this case, in this case, I'm talking. No, if I'm talking about like the rules. No, no, not that. not even That's, like I'm the saying, rules. I'm saying what is clear. In the, what is clear? In what this case, thing? in this case, yes, so, yes, the problem. Yes, sorry, so sorry. guys, guys, it's so De- line, so, so Dennis has a case. Just, Let's be honest. Let's be honest. White women, the causes of white women, tend to create a lot of problems for the world. Yeah. No, no, no. Facts. Right. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not negating that. Right. What I'm saying is, if she was not intersex and a bitter like that, she no get. She. And um, I think she, she knew what she, I, I, I think I knew what she was doing bro, before they, she entered. They, they were looking at Serena weird for years. Yeah. Yes, they were. They were looking at Serena weird. Well, well, Serena is not Serena. intersex, so it never. But came they were looking. Up. Up. Yeah. Yeah. It never came up. This no, 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 it man. never came up. Uh, uh, they tested her for point. several they times. They tested her several times. They still call Michelle Obama a man. Michelle Obama. But like, but like, when I said when I say it never came up, it was never. It was. It was okay. Come and test me. You see that I'm still a woman. So my problem, right? So it's like <laughs> you might. Lulu. So my Lulu. my problem. What my- you're saying? What you're saying is where there's a lot of gray, black, bloody colors. That's this what one, I'm saying. This one mm, is a gray. This one too is This one is not area. gray. You know why? It's, very, it's a gray area, Dennis. Uh, mm, the fact mm, that she's in that saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, put her in a gray area. Yeah, it okay. The fact that she's, she has DSD, all of that, my put her in a gray area. My thing is, the reason why this thing is happening is because a white woman cried wolf. I hear you. You got beaten, We're bro. Not negative you understand? That. If it was a We're black woman, if it, let me tell you, this is, is not. It's not. It's the same thing with Caitlyn Clark and Injuries. God bless you. I don't like that. God bless though. you. I, I hear you. Know the crazy part. Injuries is. is nicer to Caitlyn than no, but like because she's the white savior, quote unquote, and it became a thing in the media. And then you are the one that lost. You don't understand. Like it's so weird. To, White like, women I, tend to I'm get I'm agree with you, but there's a lot of yeah. gray area in this. Yeah. But in this case, this thing is simple. The case, the a white woman cried more, wolf. You is, got beaten. Is 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 white more white than black, right? But at the end of the day, and the person that and the person and, 
They are, do you know how much Charles <laughs> money? Clark. My own problem now. I, well. Actually, I have more problem with black community by Nigeria because don't be putting Nigerians in the same conversation like Kesey Clark. Nah, she nah, doesn't nah, belong nah, in no. there. Okay, the person that is saving the league is Kesey Clark. Let's leave it there. It's, no, I, I, mean, I just feel like that this is more is, nuanced than that. I, not, I get what you mean. It's not. I, I just generally it's more think that it's not. just actually, a situation it's where I think that she shouldn't be playing with a woman that is like genetically and XX chromosome. So yeah, that's, that's not a problem. That is a problem of the Olympic community. I, no, I'm saying exactly. only, I think it's Olympic now. They should create a, they should be but Melody, men, you, women. If it's by that, there will guys, be so let, 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 let me speak on this. this. Let me speak on this. Let me speak on this. I hear you. That's how it should so be. Unfair. That's the solution. But the problem is this. Do you know what is going to, do you think they have not considered that? They would have. Do you know why they can't do it? Oppo. No, because those people will come and say they are marginalizing us. I don't How? Melody, you don't understand what we are dealing with. You don't know what you are. It's Wait. like when they say transgender women Wait. are not transgender. Transgender women are transgender Wait. women. Melody, Melody, we don't, but they, they will say, I want to be something. What I ident- identify, I identify as. Identify Do you understand? It's what you should classify me as, regardless of whether I have something so in my... So you're identifying as, in, okay, you don't identify as intersex. Oh. Do you understand? Like, they will say, I identify as a woman. Okay. I identify as a billionaire. You are the, you are, what, Can't be on you, Forbes. <laughs> I'm sorry, billionaire list. What you identify as does not mean that we cannot just speak on facts and, you know... But Melody, it doesn't work like that in this world. The Olympic community... Melody, people will lose I, their jobs. I agree. People would have lost their jobs. Correct. I agree. No, no, you, you do have... You, you guys have a point. The thing is, I don't... I always say this when they're talking about this. I don't have the depth. And I, feel yeah. like, and I feel like my opinions can just be shifting left and center. Right. But, like, the, but my thing is... My thing is, like, in this case... In this case, is up to they have to be hard conversations to be had. Yes. Yeah, really, really hard conversations. Yeah. Both of both of them are on their I'm right. I'm just saying, for this particular scenario, this one scenario, it's because it's a white woman. It's because a white woman. It's it's heightened because it's a white woman. If it was a black woman, they would have been outcry. Let's be honest, the black the black community be bullshitting as well. Let's be honest. So, like, the black the but, black community but the this black community was was bullshitting on Shakari Richardson. It was some bullshit. Uh, bro, bro, bro. But J.K. Rowling is not going to comment on that. I. <laughs> I'm not lying. Jacob uh, will uh, comment uh, on that. Uh, oh, that uh, Logan Paul will comment on that. And it will become a thing. Uh, I promise you. I promise it you. Will not be. Trump is going to do a rally soon. And he's going to say something about even it. In the, already, if, 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 even in the... 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 Bro, this person was bushing about Simon Biles like how many days Even ago? in the Angel Reese and the Caitlyn Clark conversation. Caitlyn Clark did it first. <laughs> Thank you. Th- see, they were calling what? Angel Reese ghetto and some ghetto ass Kineko, Kineko, Kineko. Do you understand? I know crazy part like- of the shout out to shout out to Michael Wilborn. You know Michael Wilborn. Yeah, yeah. Michael Wilborn said part of the problem is that guys, can you drop your phones, please? Oh. Michael Wilborn said part of the problem with America is race. <laughs> Actually, facts. Part of the problem with America is I'm race, and answer. race is central to America, right? And a lot and a lot of that, even in the Caitlin Clark conversation. There was still a lot of race there. It's, it's a black dominated league, and a lot of people that were going at our black women. Do you understand? It's race. It's still race infused. Do you understand? So, the solution here, let's be honest, would be male category. Female category. Female category. Transgender and intersex. And everybody, because let's be honest, women tra- transition to men will not go and fight men. They don't have the same physical pa. strength. Like, what are we saying? Like, <laughs> create a category yai. for them. Your mother is That's going why to be I feel like everybody should get their own Your public. father is going to it's be It's not dead. the same. Do you know no, it's, not, it's not going to happen. It's not so the, it's same. The, the danger is with men, who, people who seem like men, coming into female sports. Yes. But Melody, let me also push my agenda here. What's the agenda? What? I don't want to say rubbish. Say it. <laughs> Say what she wants to say, it's rubbish. Say. Shout out to all the woke women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. I think you go. need to stand. Our girl, I think more. Yes, Oroto. Okay. Hello, please. You started the podcast late. Calm down. Calm down. Now, say what she part of the problem, pa- part of the problem is a lot of woke women, women a lot of woke women, no, <laughs> no, no a lot of woke women have, they've forgotten what their, what their ad, ad, um, activism should be about. It should be about the sufferings of women. Finish, you yes. shouldn't ah, be ah, this one. Listen. Oh, you man, should... <laughs> ah. <laughs> you go there, man. Play. Oh, man, play. <laughs> my opinion. Yeah, That's yeah. my opinion. You, you go there, my man. opinion is. Wait, wait, wait. That should be. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. My opinion. My opinion is. You shouldn't be. My opinion is. You shouldn't be a sponge for all other types of oppressed demographics. 
because i hear why a lot of you with them i try to speak for other forms of personal graphics i hear it but the problem is the moment you start creating the Sorry, do you have white hair in your i'm saying ah, so, <laughs> so the moment you start you start developing things for other oppressed demographics you start obscuring and blurring the lines between the rights of women and the rights of those people yeah. because part of the problem is that a lot of liberal women movements were speaking for other oppressed demographics yeah. do you understand now it becomes hard because now you are it feels like you are turning on them but you are not turning on them you are just revert like i don't understand do you understand so the problem is i don't necessarily i feel like the solution would be just grouping everybody into what even with toilets toilet use yes but the problem is they are going to come and say you are marginalizing us no, no why inclusion. don't you want to be called what you say you are the trans women have great transgender toilets. No, no, they are women. They are not trans women. Like, what does that Shout out to feminists. This is not hard. Two words, intersectional feminism. That's all I will say to you. Wow. But no, they must explain, please. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> you could be like, you know, like, 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 And we are done. <laughs> shout out to Dennis and Lolu for coming wow. through and having a no, conversation. No shout out for me. Oh, but see what? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Before we go, before we go, before we go, who's the best person that influenced your career? So with me. That influenced my career. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, a senior my chairman. Daniel. Ah, Chagoziem on your chair. Ah, my chairman. That's Chagoziem. That's Triple OG man. His name now. Chagoziem on your corner. Shout out to him. Shout out to the OG. Shout out to him. Um, what about yeah. you? Me. Influenced my career. Well, I don't have anybody that influence. Ah! Uh, wait a minute. Nobody paid you. Nobody paid you. Yeah. Yeah. And that's no, 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 no. a period. No, no. Oh, ah, no. What about Jack? You told me to show 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 share work more. Oh, Jawa, you are compared. I mean, no. Oh, no. Well, what, I, what I do have is I have a lot of role models. We didn't ask you that one. We say inspired. So I know inspired. Yeah. We didn't ask you role models. Only nobody. It's okay. It's okay. Afro beats. It's always, Afro. it's always been inside of me. Oh. What's the one bit? Round up the podcast. Jack. What's it you? Lulu Wawala. Follow come. Is it? Hey, and now what if you have a bini? A bini, 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 a do not forget that this comes out on Monday morning at 8 a.m. I hope, Joanne, you put it up before 8 a.m. But yes, at 8 a.m. Um, you can find this across all your favorite streaming platforms, wherever you find your favorite streaming platforms. Send us email, Lou. And also, you can also find us on YouTube um, at Zero Conditions. Subscribe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Send us an email at zeroconditionspod at gmail.com. If you have any questions for us, we'll be back again next what week. What on Friday. our sponsors? Shout out to our sponsors. Shout out to Shivers Regal. Shout out to Ogal Lulu and Dennis for coming They're through. They're not our sponsors. I said Shivers Regal. I said shout out to our guys for okay. coming through. Ogal Lulu and Dennis. Are you our sponsor? <laughs> Should we drop a <laughs> Talk to me. We'll, Talk. We can Follow them on social media. Or Dennis, what's your social media handle? Or you like Dennis Adipita. Okay. Uh, Dennis Adipita everywhere. Ogalulu. 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 All right. That's a Raz. And that's on period. Bye bye. <laughs> Sorry.